Rhinos are unlimited. Whoa. Maybe this is just my draft deck. Wow, this is, you got a lot of the list cards. Yeah, there was a pretty high number of the wow. list cards. <laughs> Mm, yeah, but so, okay, okay. So God, that would chat. be unhinged if they just put a whole tier one deck as the list, so that, like, in theory... <laughs> you could just draft that entire deck. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. All right, so 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 here's the deal, guys. So I was hoping to do uh, two Rhino streams this week, but yesterday I was just, like, somewhat sick, to be honest. So... But I'm feeling a lot better today, so we're, we're streaming as, as planned, but I just didn't want to leave the fans... Without without an update on Rhinos be before we move to our regularly scheduled limited stream. Yeah, I so, a fan would like an update on Rhinos. So this is my latest Rhinos list. Okay. And the way I would describe this list is, <laughs> okay, a lot of things are actually driven by second order Scryland effects. Okay. Basically, like, I think a lot of people, including us, we're um we're, we're totally sure, uh how much the impact of these these skylines would, would be but the answer is that it's, it's completely massive um right so so the uh the gemstone yes. caverns is part of this and, I, and i'm gonna discuss it yeah well okay basically here's the deal when you have two when you get to scry for free twice a game it fundamentally means that you flood less like you almost never flood you scry twice a game given this it is more important to have mana like fast mana than it is to have grindy value lands like mutavault therefore no mutavault two caverns it is a direct reaction to the skylands nice um and i think that this wasn't really obvious to me until i started playing with them but the effect is really fucking big yeah i mean it's just like you know you just draw like you know aggregate across the two scries like one more spell and one less land every game wow okay well just i mean you know yeah. probably on average it'll been one of them yeah so like Makes that's sense. like that's that's like the, the the magnitude of the effect we're talking about here I think if you don't play two Skylands, you're straight punting. I think it's not close to being one. Okay. I think, like, what I what I keep telling people is, my team is investigating three. I think we are leaning against. Okay. But we don't think it's insane to play three. Okay. We think playing one is dead wrong, not in consideration. Okay. Uh, so... Do you think, I mean, I know you haven't done any testing, but just in, in, in a theoretical perspective, do you think this is unique to Rhinos? Or do you think? I think I, seeing how good they are in rhinos does that make you think that other decks should more seriously consider playing them? Yeah, m m m Mar Mar <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Marceline's right as usual. Blah blah blah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Well, I do think that like probably like if you're playing Yogg, you should play one. I don't know if you okay. should play two. Sure. Um, I'm coming around on one in Murktide, but I'm not a Murktide expert. I'm not investigating it. Yeah. I do think probably lots of decks should just play one. Yeah. Okay. They're pretty. They're kind of just great. Um. But yeah, so this is this is my basic rhinos list. Most of the other stuff is probably the same as you've seen before. I have eventually decided after much consternation and debate that I think I'm just an Urtai scorn hater. Mm. I mostly just think it's worse than mystical dispute. Yeah. Oh, like the fourth dispute, the third dispute, every dispute. Just play all the disputes. And then if I had a fifth counter spell, it'd be that, but I've sort of decided that I'm not gonna have one right now. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's overall better in the mirror against living in the mystical dispute, but also it's just like sometimes worse. It's just like not like my complaint is, it is not like every game that you draw in you're like, damn, I wish this was Urtai Scorn. It's really like not that simple. It's like, well, if they have Rhinos, it's nice to be able to fight with them as that's the lead spell. But if you have a different lead spell, then it's better for the second spell to be Mystical Dispute. And it all just comes around to Mystical Dispute has lots of other applications. Urtai Scorn has no other applications. So I'm just going to play for Mystical Dispute. Is there a card that we're keeping secret from the world in the sideboard? Mm, I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. But maybe. Okay. Uh, th there's a, there's a wild card my team is talking about playing, but I don't know if it's good right now. Okay. So this is the sideboard that doesn't have it. Okay. But I guess I, I I I cannot reveal what it is. So. Well, it might be bad. Though. I was I was hoping we'd be signing a bunch of them. I was hoping we would popularize it and everyone would uh everyone would love it and then we would we would be signing. Well, it a might bunch be bad of, though. Oh. Uh, wait, so is Bat God. <laughs> whoa, 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 We signed whoa. a bunch of those. All right, cutting... No, no, no. I never go down a land. I just board out one gemstone cavern for the Boseju on the play. Yeah. And on the draw, I when I board the Boseju, I just cut a different land and trust my caverns to be colored sources. Yeah. Is, is the point. I think it's pretty logical. Uh, I think flame... I'm, I'm kind of just, like, low on flame in general. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain why I'm low on flame. I mean, I guess it's that... Okay, I... I mean, mostly it's to do with the fact that I made a mapping sheet and then talked over with a bunch of people. Yeah. And I think we basically kept realizing that we just don't want third flame against anyone. 
Like, I think at various points in time, I thought that I wanted the third player in various places, and eventually I came around to, nope, good in none of those places. Mm. And or I think, it's not that it's not good in none of those places, but, like, the card that you are taking out... It's a to, marginal upgrade. Yes. Yeah. Right, like, if you are take, if you don't have the space for it and you're taking out a card that's already pretty good in the matchup for third flame, it probably shouldn't be in your board. Yeah, like, a, a, good, a good example of this, for example, is, like, let's say you're playing against Skim, right? So against Skim, flame is a good card. It kills Shieldred, it kills Chalice, you'd like to draw it. It's nice. Okay, but here's the problem. So we only have like three cards boarded against Scam right now. There's two flames this member, that's it. Yeah. But actually, my my team and I, we have trouble making room for three. Yeah. Because what we eventually decide is we don't even know which of Tidebinder and Forstigation is even better against them. Yeah. We've just like gone back and forth six different times and we still don't know. And okay, at that point, my question to you is, so is it really even that much better than the Tidebinder or Forstigation you'd leave in? Like all your cards are fine. Yeah. And, like, sometimes you draw a flame instead of force, you're like, wow, this is the greatest thing ever. Sometimes you're tight on mana, not on, like, resources, yeah. and you're, you'd rather have flame, force negation. And that's especially true uh, when they've boarded lots and lots of cyborg hate, which, which they do right now, because yeah. Brown is the best deck, which is very reasonable. Like, that, all the cyborg hate kind of moves me towards even more force negations, which leads me towards not wanting to upgrade my time arms of flames, which is a very marginal upgrade. Then, like, at some point, we thought we wanted a bunch versus Yogg, but eventually we came to the conclusion that... I don't know, they're pretty mean against Yogg, and we kept going up and up and up on Force Negation against Yogg also. Yeah. Just like, I don't know, they always board in a bunch of hate, and it counters courts. Basically, Fawn is really good post board against everyone, is the issue. And when we stopped cutting Fawn all the time, we stopped wanting the third flame. And then we cut the third Muta Vault, which pushed us even far- the Muta Vault, which pushed even farther against the flames. Yeah. And so in the end, I just want to flame. Yeah. That's, that's like what happened, but it was all a gradual series of, of events. Um, and then I think that the two most flex slots in my sideboard are... These two? Um, They're kind of hidden behind chat oh, for them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe put them somewhere else? Okay. Th- th- these two. Yeah, yeah. those two? Um, I don't really know if the third endurance is right or, or if it should be my list. And I think that the Magnus is honestly pretty marginal. Uh, I don't like that people are playing these red lists. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, like, Storms with, like, Storms Wrath the sideboard on the amulet. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um, it makes, like, Magnus worse, but I also think Blood Moon's still bad because they just have main deck Poseidus. Like, I don't think it makes Blood Moon better. It just makes them all worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, oh, it's definitely terrible, DC, but it doesn't matter. People are going to do it. Yeah. Like, to be clear, Tristan noted Amulet Expert on my team said, this is completely unplayable. No one should do this. But I still think people will do it. Uh, so, yeah. And then I'm playing a Third Endurance mostly because I'm scared of the Ligand. Yeah. Is what it comes down to. It, it's pretty narrow. I don't even like Third Endurance all that much against Merktide. It's, it's fine. I'll board it in. Yeah. But I just really want Third for Living and I want to hedge there, so I have it. Oh, the other big update I say is I'm pretty hard sold on two dismembers. I love two dismembers. Mm, okay. Well, eventually I decided that the possibly the best sideboard card I can put in my sideboard for the Yogg matchup is second dismember. Mm, nice. That like, oh, is Flame going to get Yogg? I don't know. It's okay. Is Brotherhood's End? It, it has its moments. Like all these cards are fine. What's actually going to get Yogg is just flexible, one mana, cheap card, kill their Mandor, kill their Wall of Roots, kill their Yogg. That's what you want. Can you kill Grist on the stack? Yeah, Kilgris on the stack, classic yeah, nice, maneuver. Nice, nice, it nice. dies a state-based effect. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of how I came to this list, but it, it, it definitely is what it is. Um, I, I'm honestly pretty happy with it. Uh, I think the second gems... I mean, oh yeah, if you don't have the gemstone caverns, the other thing about this is, secretly, the second gemstone caverns is a concession to living end. Mm, nice. I mean, I understand that sounds a little weird, but like... You gotta go fast? Well, if you if you make Rhino like I don't know like living in when you're on the play is a lot more manageable. Yeah. Okay. When you're on the point. play, you can just like make Rhinos and hope your fawn is good enough. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, it definitely sometimes isn't, but like I don't know. At least then you're making them have like fast living in plus free spell backup yeah. plus cyclers, which they definitely have sometimes. But you're you're making them have it all. Sure. And then you can also sometimes like leave up Tidebinder on key turns because you already made Rhinos on three on the play at least, and I don't know. Whereas on, when you're on the draw, I just I often feel like I can never make rhinos a single time. Like my cascaders are barely good cards. So is there water in the hedge maze? How is a hedge maze an island? Uh, I can't explain how a hedge maze is an island. Mm, okay. I think the flavor of we could each is a community base. Anyways, that's gonna do it for our brief rhinos update. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. We will be streaming rhinos tomorrow. Um, be right before the RC, the list that we will play at the RC. However, today. We are going to stream Limited as it's New Fortnite Limited, and New Fortnite Limited is fucking great. Yay! And hey, B. Boulder, thanks for the subscription! Bold outfit next stream! Should we dress up as rhinos? Wow, that's great. <laughs> I don't know how we would do that, but I'm open to it. Mm-mm. All right, so we're going to draft this limited format now. And Andrew and I actually attended a, uh, attended a, a, a draft weekend with some PT players this weekend. Yes. So... 
There's a, kind of like rhinos. Uh. There, was a, there was a Minneapolis draft camp, basically, is what happened, which was, I don't know, eight of eight, like, very strong limited players in our area. Yeah. Uh, like, it was like RC, RC winner Dan Weisner, uh, yeah. GP Tommy competitor Alex Johnson. Uh, Didn't he win? He, Greg, won, he won a GP. Yeah, yeah. GP yeah, yeah. winner. GP yeah. winner, yeah. Uh, PT, PT winner Greg Orange. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was a great group. MS, best limited player in the state, MSJ. Yeah, of course. Uh, GP Vegas winner, Scott Markerson, Greg yeah. and I. was like most of the players at the event. I think I yeah. named them. So like it was really stacked and we did like three drafts and I feel like we are starting to get handled in the format. Yeah. Definitely not all solid at three drafts, but I think we, we have some takes. I'm, I'm excited to be knowledgeable. Yeah. Yeah. Like we actually know something. Yeah. Which we may not have done at any point during LCI. So, you know. Yeah, that's true. Update. Actually, yeah. I think uh, I never knew anything in LCI. Mm. Wow, I the colorless case, huh? That I, I'll admit that does not fit with the priors I've experienced, but I believe you. Wow, this is a rare that I have a ton of experience with. Actually, well, it's good. I think it's quite good. Red black is now my favorite place to be. There's well, I'm also, not sure we should take it. Well, do you want to take the other card that we love? What chalk outline or yeah. make shift finding? Chalk outline. Okay, I do fucking love chalk outline. Like I think it's really good. Uh, so I played with this card a ton, weirdly. I mean, it's just quite good. It's a kill spell, and eventually you get a raised dead. And there's like a bunch of random stuff that it synergizes with. Yeah, but how you... good is the question? Like, I, it's a two I don't like card. that it's two color. Yeah, I, I don't want to take it. I kind of want to take chalk outline. Okay, I, I do too, I think. I mean, okay. I, I don't think Tweezy makes chalk outline. We do think white aggro is maybe the best deck. Yes, I mean, I think white aggro is definitely the best deck. <laughs> I'm actually, that's great. Um, but okay, Chalk Outline has been incredibly, it's obscene. like it's the obscene. best reason to do its thing, which is the Collect Evidence deck. It's like, it rewards you so strong and like... Well, it's not just the Collect Evidence, it also works in the green-black, like, Creatures League or Graveyard thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. if you're green, you just want this card, it's just fucking good. Well, I mean, well... I mean, I, I want to take the second. This card also is like... Well, that card's like, great. It's not that much of an enabler for the thing. Oh, yeah, um, it's mostly just a kill spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we should just take the second Chalk Outline, we're just fucking in. Also, for the record, people, so a lot of people have been asking, like, what play boosters, what effect does the play boosters have? Does the more rares matter? Does the list oh, yeah. matter? No, no, no. The thing that matters, look at this pack, there are five uncommons. Yeah. That's the big change. The big change is there are so much more, so many more uncommons in each pack. And honestly, I think it's awesome. Like, there's more, this, they even said this allowed them to make more build arounds um, in design. I mean, I mean, blue green collect evidence is a great archetype for for, for, the, for the chalk alley. When you have this card, you ideally want to be green blue or green black. Yes. So like, and I've I feel like a lot of the decks that were green blue that were doing this were base green, base blue splashing back or base black splashing blue. Yeah, they tend to be um, soul tie. Yeah, not just two of them. I will say I do think this might be the best common in the format. I mean, shock's great. Um, the format's kind of fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I love mean, that it kills hills morphs. Um, what I can tell you if you look at the data from our draft weekend, which I'm not saying is the end all be all. Yeah. But basically, in our in, in our draft weekend, the aggro was very successful, and the only successful slow deck was blue green. Yeah. Like I don't mean that blue green was like like basically you should be fast or blue green. That's it. Yeah. So, you know, do you want to take hedge maze? Kinda. I mean, repulse mutation's good. Okay. Wait, that's, so that's so like, I've never this one I've never played with. I mean, it's it's a good card. I mean, it's it's counter spell with it comes with multiple plus one plus one counters, and you can cast it for two mana. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is a strong card. I mean, I I think maybe we should just take it. I don't know. I mean, Scryland is good, okay? Like, it, it's hard to say. Yeah. I, I'm i pretty down to take this, I think. I, I mean, I had it in one of the drafts. It was very strong. For okay, me. okay. But, like, I don't... I mean, it's just hard to assess versus a good land that will get us value. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'm leaning this, but I... I want to take that, too, I think, okay. but it's close. Okay. <clears throat> Slam Robot Maverick. Wait, wait, oh, wait. What is that card doing? I think we should take this. Well, this card's so weird. Is it good? Well, it deals... Oh, I guess it's maybe not that good. It doesn't it's seem like good. It's like a splashable big kill spell. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Robot Ma Maverick. Okay. I mean, just... The problem is Heat Ray is a terrible card, and Heat Ray yeah, is okay, the worst okay, card. Okay. You have to be, like, going face. Okay, well, I do like Lost Lane Joffer, but I kind of think we should take Underground Mortuary. Okay, I think that's very reasonable. Even if we aren't playing Black, it's good, and, like, this deck often splashes Black. Um, I do think Lost Lane Joffer is, like, a good card for this deck, but it's just, at the end of the day, it's another 4 -drop. Yeah. How do you feel about this card? 
Oh, I don't know. I didn't really see it do that much. I think it's unimpressed me. Yeah. I think the issue is that with morphs and clues, like, people have so much stuff to do with their mana that often you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with my mana next turn. And then they age at you, and you're like, well, okay, I have to, like, get rid of a card, but I had, like, four options, so I don't really mind X on any card in my hand. Like, it'll be okay. And hey, Brick Master Flex, thanks for the resub! I was listening to um, the Lords of Limited guys, who I really like, a lot and i think they are they often have good opinions but they were so high on the two mana make them exile a card one one and i strongly disagree wow does that count wait i have to say what i just said but be meaner okay hold on um so i don't know if flourishing bloomkin is good or not um i'm inclined to do gauzy inspector i like this card yes it collects and it's like it's i think it's better than it looks i, I was you impressed. put the counter anywhere and like you gain two life yeah i think the snail is bad it does get our scry land, which we just got. Wait, so what, what does this thing do exactly? So when it's turned face up... God, it's so you weird. You get two forests, put one in the battlefield, has one into... Five mana, though. Five is so I, much. I think I, we should take it. I want to take this I don't know. I haven't played enough with Kush and Bloom. And thanks, Victor Bayani. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, don't do this. Chat, let's let's have a quick talk. Ma Robo Maverick, this guy's the man. Yeah. Okay, like, if you're going to do the collect evidence thing, or if you're going to do the green-black thing, like, this card is a workhorse, and it's irreplaceable. Yeah. There, there is no way, like, this is the only cheap enabler for this archetype, really. I agree that this is a late Slice in the Shadows. We're going to take this card. Slice in the Shadows is honestly kind of fine. Uh, it, it, it's, it's not awesome or anything. I mean, I want to take Nervous Gardener. Yeah, I haven't been too impressed by Rackish Scoundrel. I mean, it's obviously fine, but six is so much mana. I love this guy. I love trading it with other morphs, and then you just, like, get your land real quick. Also, by the way, so many things happen in chat, and uh, we have to get caught up. Oh, okay. <sighs> just keep taking I, I mean, I want to keep We have taking. two of them. I mean, yeah. we had one chalk outline. We could say maybe there's a limit to the number of these we yeah, want, yeah, but two yeah. of them I'm just fucking in. I take base land cycling guy. Cool. Yeah, I like that it's so much evidence. Yeah, like, it's not an insane card or anything, but it's, it's fine. It's, it, it'll do some work. And we might play the Rax Kendall. Yeah. Like, I don't think this card's a high pick. I don't think it's awful. Yeah. Okay, it sounds like you, I have to be enthusiastic if you say something mean. Yeah, a so, classic. Um, wait, can you scroll down just so we can see more chat? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. A lot of good stuff in this pack. I mean, Sample Collector is good. I think Tunnel Tipster is quite good. I've been super impressed. I think this is Breen's best comp. Yeah, I think so too. Um, I mean, this is obviously incredibly good with our. It's what like, our deck like does. Like curving this into chalk outline, we have to find a way to get some evidence in there. But yeah, and um, I, I don't think we should take Dragon out. I had this card in an undraft. It was very good. It's but good, like, but I don't think it's yeah. like necessarily splashable. Like like a great splash. Like, yeah, maybe we should take the two. I think maybe we should take Tunnel Tips there. Okay, I, I legitimately think that. I don't think Sample Collector is. I mean, it's good. I just don't yeah. think it's insane or anything. Okay, wait, I feel like there's some other stuff. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Victor, uh, for the resub. 11 months. That's very exciting. Oh, we got exclamation point candled. That's the other thing. Okay. Um, great candle today. A long time stream favorite. Okay, this card is insane. That card's fucked We should up. take it. Um, we have the Wisteria Blossom Candle. Notes of Cherry Blossom and Peach from Target's uh, Threshold. Not Threshold. Room Essentials Collection. Um, really a lovely candle. We've used a lot. Beautiful purple color. Uh, and now it's not going to be our candle anymore. Also, by the way, another Greg hot take. I think one of the best comments in the format is red herring. Wait, Greg, is, is, that, is that like some kind of joke? Or no. Is it, is it a red herring? I'm or? not. It's not a bit. I think red herring's in. I like, we love Valley Dasher in cons. Oh, yeah. And red herring is so much better. It is a lot better. Like, the fact that you can sack it to trade it in for a card when you can't attack anymore is really, really strong. Anyway, since we had a lovely purple candle, now we're going to have another lovely purple candle, which is this If You Know You Know candle from Target's Friday Collective, even though it's not Friday anymore. Okay, mm. this card is fucked up. I know, I don't, I don't know think if we, we should double splash it. it. Um, I mean, so, so the card, I do think that in Blue Wings Silly Critics is not unplayable. I agree. I don't necessarily think it's great, though. I think it's decent. Yeah. I like, mean, I, there I, was a game where my opponent played Chalk Outline and curved it into Curve 6, and I, like... I mean, maybe we. Should, I mean, I don't know if we should take it over a pulse mutation though. Pulse mutation is a good card. I think we are kind of doing the thing, and I want to take repulsive mutation. Yeah, I mean, I mostly think if you have enough creatures count, you should you have pulse mutation. Yeah, yeah I mean, code's fucked up. <laughs> okay, I actually had code at the pre-release, and multiple of my opponents also had code. <laughs> um. So wait, this one. That card. That card's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not exciting. I mean, 
I wonder if our curve is, if we went up for Gold Mavericks, that we should take Cold Cake Cracker. I do like that card. I kind of think so. Wait, let's, I'm going to do this. Um, I do just really like Robot Maverick. Like, it's pot, if you told me, no, we just want the fourth one, I don't think that's out of the question. But we do need some expensive cards yeah, to collect. Yeah, I think I want to take this. Um, yeah, I, I think I want over the fourth one. Also, I think we might just, like, wheel another one at some point. Yeah. And I, don't, and I mean, like, there's a point where I'm going to stop wanting them. I think. Maybe that's wrong. Um, um, okay, wait, which one? This one? Ah, that's the one that forces something to block. I mean, that card I think is good. good. I don't know if it's better than Tunnel Tipster. I though. think I want to take Tunnel Tipster. Yeah, I mean, our deck doesn't have that many more, but Tunnel Tipster is so great. Yeah. Like, just accelerating into whatever we have, it always ends up being a threat in the late game. Like, also, I just think you kind of never let this We're going to end up with some worse. I know. I was taking the Topier Panther. Well, I think. look, it's Ghost <laughs> OG Ghost Corner. I did start playing this in my last deck, and I think it was correct. Oh, I like that card. I mean, I don't think it's bad or anything. Yeah. I just think. We already have two repulse mutations. We kind of yeah, like covered. Okay, okay, we kind of okay. want actually some bigger guys, like good collective collective enabler. I think yeah. that makes a lot of sense here. Um, wow, that's a late one to come in. Wait, which one's escape tunnel? Is that is that it's evolving, wilds? evolving wilds? Yeah. I mean, we might just want to take evolving wilds. I'm pretty down to take evolving wilds. I mean, I understand we've we've actually gotten nothing to splash so far, but yeah, eh, we might get something. Okay, well now I would probably take the fruit. Wait, yeah, I don't think that card's good. I would just take the maverick. Maybe four is too many, but I, I don't even think it's out of the question, and let's let, I want to take it still. Wow. Wow, look at this disrespect. Which one's this one? Ah, yeah. Okay. I, I had played Candlestick once. It was not impressive for me. I mean, I don't think it's bad. Obviously, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it cycles, so like it has a high floor, but it was me. Uh, we can take that, the free two, actually. I mean, I don't think that card's even a crazy splash. It's a good card. I agree. Um, I don't think I would splash for like just the Crow Whisperer, probably. It's more like if we get a good black card in pack three, we'll probably splash both, is my take. Yeah. Okay, wait. I, we gotta get cut off. I have to say something mean. I was in the middle of kind of saying something mean, so I'm gonna really commit. Okay, commit. The virus beetle in the pack in this set fucking sucks. And if you've played with that card and you're like, wow, this was so good, you're wrong. Wow. Genius, Greg. <laughs> We're not playing airtight alibi. I mean, <laughs> maybe we'll play five. What's the limit on Robo Mavericks? We're about to find <laughs> out. I mean, they work well on multiples because you mill off one to the other. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, BLJ, 11 months, let's go! So, oh, wait, this is the one that does nothing. Okay. Do we want this? I mean, that card looks quite good in our It's game. really good with this. Wait, how do we, how can we make, do we have anything that makes a clue? Evidence examiner. We have evidence examiner and two chalk outlines and that's it. Okay. But both those things do make clues, like, repeatedly. Yeah, it does. I, I want to take it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean, I'm not saying it will solve all our problems, but I, I think it's, Strong enough to be worth it. Yeah, this is the card that I'm being mean to. This card sucks. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So I got a match enthusiast link too. Do, yeah. You can explain. Do, do your thing first. Okay, yeah. The candle, we, it was just changed to this lovely, if you know, you know, candle. Beautiful purple candle from Target's something collection. Wow. Multiple on-color rares, huh? Okay, I guess that one's not that good. I kind of think we should take Lazif. It does seem pretty good. Lasav, right? Or is yeah, it, is it, is I know. I was, I, was, I was just, you know. I think we should take Lasav. I mean, I think okay. it's better than it locks on eavesdropper. Yeah, I think, I think so. it's only meaningful competition. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I want to take Lasav. Yep. I, I'm, I'm just pretty down for that. Also, Lasav does the chalk outline thing. Yes. Which is a pretty important part of it. You know, yep. Huh. Which 3-2 is not that 3-2? That, that one's the su is super, super mid. I mean, do we want another Curious Cadaver? How in are we on this? I don't know. I, I think maybe over, like, third Tunnel Tipster. I don't really want that. I, mean, I think the other pick would be Undercover Crocowell. I think one of these two cards will wheel, and I'm willing yeah. to play whichever one wheels, is kind of how I feel. Um, wait, one? this one? Oh, whenever another detective, you draw a card and discard a card. So it... I don't understand. I don't get it, really. What am I missing? Mm -mm. So, cadaver plus that. Oh, because chalk outline is a detective. Makes a detective. You draw a card, you discard curious cadaver, you make a oh, clue. Oh, fuck. Maybe we're supposed to take that then. I didn't understand the thing. Why? Well, Matt said it, but I didn't understand. Yeah. Unlimited uh. two mana mole drifters. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, anyway, I think we should maybe take this, honestly. Oh, I think I don't think Blumkin's bad. Yeah. I, just, I, just didn't, I just didn't want it to. Also, it. this does trigger chalk outline, but I don't think it was what we were supposed to take. Definitely not. Yep. Eh, dealer's choice. Which one's this? Uh, I think I I could have. I guess we're not base black even. Huh. 
I mean, we're not going to play rope in this deck. We can take it. I don't know. It's a clue, I guess, which is nice for the staff. Yeah, but... I guess. Eh. I think we'll play this, actually. I'm not sure we will, but I think you take it anyway. I mean, I just don't think Slayer says... I guess we might really need removal in our deck. Do we want an Out Cold, or are they... That card has impressed me. I This card has impressed me, too. I mean, I think Out Cold is just, like... It kind of just does enough stuff to be good. Um, and our deck is a little removal light. We can kind of use it as soft removal. Uh, oh, I don't like that one. I think I want to take this. Sure, I don't think we'll play it, but I think it's fine to take it. Yeah. I think if neither of those... Um, Oh, let's see. What take the this. fuck? Are we, what is going on in this draft? Okay, I mean, I, red base aggro is definitely the place to be, but like, come on, everyone. Green is not that bad. Um, I want to take this over this. Oh, I, yeah. think taking, I think I think eavesdropper for sure. Okay, I think it'd be reasonable to take. Uh, I think that card's fine, but I really like Lockley eavesdropper. Honestly, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know if we want a fourth tip. Well, so I many. think I want to take this, and I think we should play it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I may be down. I mean, we have a million playables. Okay, we have so. a million playables. I don't I know might... if we'll play it or not, but I think it's fine yeah, taking yeah, it. Yeah. We're not, not going to play the, the fourth tipster as a thing. Yeah. Even though tipster's great. We're just we're just. Oh, not. wait. This you can take the bounce spell, yeah. Yeah. We're not going to play it either, but... Yeah. Okay, I agree we're going to take Slice in the Shadows in the end. We're going to play Slice in the Shadows? You mean? Uh, no, I think we are going to play it. Okay. I think I've come around to our deck just has so little interaction. We probably yeah, yeah, want yeah. some. I'm sorry we didn't take the full combo, Matt, because we didn't understand. Yeah. Okay, wait, T Cree what, and I'll be enthusiastic for it. Okay, yeah. All right, chat. H here's the deal. I'm so excited for RC Denver. I seriously am. It's gonna be fucking great. I don't know. I just like I feel great about the for I feel great about the format. I feel great about all the plans I have arranged, which I have many plans arranged. I just it's gonna be a banger. See you there. Sorry if that's too boring, but I'm very excited. Great job. I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, man, it's so great that I get to go to Denver in two days. So anyways, that's it. There you go. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, I sure will. Be bolter. Hit me up. <laughs> okay. So here's our deck. Okay, I think we should maybe cut Crowl Whipcracker. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I think we should cut Unauthorized Exit. I agree. I think we should cut the fifth Thrill Belt Maverick, probably. Yeah, I five, think so. Five seems kind of deranged. Yeah. Four seems okay. Hmm. Maybe cut the Rackish Scoundrel. I guess these Nervous Gardeners are maybe not at their best here. Well, they do fix, though. I also like that we, like, I, I want, I don't really want to cut Morphs because of Tunnel Tipster. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we just cut Rackish. Maybe Rackish thing is better, though, because maybe we've more, we more, we more need things to do with our mana. I don't know. I guess that doesn't really make sense. I mean, okay, wait. We, we could, like, shave one of these, although I guess I don't want to go too low on twos. I think we should probably shave one of them. Okay. We could cut a land because we have two basic land cyclers. I mean, we should definitely cut them. We also have two tunnel tips. There's like oh, and these. We got okay, a lot yeah. of we like yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way we could play. Let's cut this else. mountain. Well, the mountain, yeah. <laughs> mountain we were never considering playing. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, the problem is I don't know what else to cut. I mean, maybe this Hellion is wrong. Yeah, I mean it's just that. Okay, here's the thing with collect evidence. I guess how much collect evidence do we have? Maybe we just don't have that much. Wait, we we have okay. We have this. We have V2 Gazi Inspector, exam Evidence Examiner, Sample Collector. What I was going to point out is that morphs with that are expensive yeah, yeah, yeah. are good with collect evidence. Yeah. Much more so than St. Nervous Gardener is. Um, okay, Matt thinks 15. I'm pretty in for 15 lands. Me too, me too. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut a swamp. Yeah, cut a land, I was going to say cut a land that isn't a forest. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, maybe we should go up a forest. Like... But we still need more cuts. Okay, we're, yeah. not, we're not there yet. Yeah. the problem. Uh... I don't really want to cut out cold because the deck is so interaction light, and I think out cold is just a good card. Um, mm, Pig Norton, I, that sounds fairly <laughs> ruthful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to, we'll get to that, Matt. We, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, on yeah. the same page, but we're trying to think about our spells. Because uh, <coughs> our deck is secretly mono green, splash blue, and black. Yeah. Mm -mm. Which is sort of an argument against Lasaw, but I still don't want to cut it. It's too broken. I think it's strong, yeah. Um... Okay, let's. Can we quickly read Flushing Bloomkin again? We need to keep reading Flushing Bloomkin so I remember what it does. I'm wondering if that's the card we're supposed to cut. I think maybe it is. It's weird because we are also heavy green, though, so it will be kind of Titanic. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it does surveil one when it puts up, notably. Because <laughs> we'll just get Underground Mercury. Oh. 
Oh, okay. It might be too deranged to cut it. I think it seems good. I think it yeah. might be, like, better than The Gardener. It seems better than The Gardener, like, yeah. Okay, I, I want to cut this. Okay, fine. I fought it long enough. I concede the fight. Um, so this needs one cut. One, two, three, four. I mean, we are allowed to cut another creature. If we did what creature would it be? Would it just be Cold Case Cracker, maybe? Probably. I, mean, I want to just cut that. Yeah, yeah, let's cut that. That card's final, but I think it's not that great. Yeah. Okay, now now let's figure out our actual land drops. Start with, there's nine forests. And include, so eight, ten Eight forests, eight forests probably okay. for that, sorry. Um, like, I mean, I don't think nine will be out of the question, but. Yeah. So this is, so this is currently, let's do a quick count. This is currently one, two, three, four, five. This is 80 bajillion black sources. Wait, how many blue cards are there? One, two, three, four, five. I think we should cut. I think we should cut another island for a swamp. Is my, oh, is my okay. Guess, upon counting, no, no, sorry, not a swamp. A forest, a forest. I mean, I want just eighty. I want a million forests. Okay. One cadaver can go. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I think that three islands might just be right. I mean, there's almost no island cards that are cheap. Like, there's literally just Lasav and Evans given her. Yeah. And like both of those, you are fine to play later. Exactly. Like And, like, we just have so many ways to find the colors of the of green, and we're going to need multiple green to turn to, like, use our Revolt Mavericks and, to, like, play double spell with green. Like, I think we just want ten green sources. Like, I really do. Nine one-drop green sources for Revolt Maverick. Like, makes yeah. a lot of sense to me. I want to submit this. I, I'm i a little worried about cutting the 6-7, the big guy, that we might need it to... Eh, I, don't, I don't think we will. Okay. We have, like, a... We're just going to, like, drown them in value. Yeah, to yeah, a pretty yeah. aggressive extent. Mm-mm. I, I think it's fine. Mm -mm. God, it, it does feel great, though. Okay, so chat, here's the other thing you have to know. This is very important. So today, I placed a bet regarding this limited format with friend of the stream, Mike Sigrist. Okay. So the terms of the bet are as follows. All right. So at the end of the format, the question is, will, like, reasonable and engaged limited players generally regard the format well or poorly? I think Bin Bin. I like Bin Bin. Okay. Just just that, like, will they, at the end, will generally look on as, a, as like, an above average format or below average format, right? And you might ask, well, how are you going to, how are you going to determine who wins? A, a classic question. An impartial Alan Wu. An impartial Alan Wu. Alan Wu will decide if it is generally the case that reasonable land players like or dislike the format. So, I like attack, land, attack, go. Yeah, I like attack, And go. we'll do this, or, like, we could just counter a scary spell. Yeah, 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 I'm okay, done wait, with that. I need to move the microphone slightly. That's fine. Okay. So, 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 yeah, Alan Wu is going to assess whether he thinks that reasonable, engaged limited players generally like the format at the end. I have the format will end up being well-regarded. Sigrist has poorly regarded. Okay. So, I have placed this wager. So, so, to be sure to keep track of that, you know, just like, if you're a buzz about the format, be aware that it's in my interest for the buzz to be positive. Uh, I think I may be down to let this result. So, what does it do exactly? It's, it's just a 2-2, two, two it's just wind drink. They just cast. Yeah, I mean, it's just that if we if we are going to do something, I may have the next like several turns, but okay. Actually, let's counter it. I think we should counter it, but okay. I'm not 100 percent sure. Because this works, unless yeah. Yes. I mean, one of the strengths of this card is it, it, it actually just does counter things early in the game as long as you have any creature in play. Yeah. Um. Uh, morph this. I think so. It's a little awkward, but I think so. And then next turn, I mean, our, our we could potentially just land cycle play this off. Oh, yeah, good point. Our most probable play. Great question. Today's candle sponsor is this If You Know You Know candle from Target's uh, Friday Collective, given to us by friend of the stream, Tone. Um, and, uh, yeah, great candle. Would you say that you know? Mm, nah. Yeah, I mean, I want to cycle for Swamp and play this off, I think. I do, too. Do you want to, like... Nah, I, I don't want to attack with that. I don't think so. I mean, it's, yeah. It's really fine for us if they trade, but I'm not that concerned. Oh, we have to change the candle sponsor again. Do I have any more purple candles? Because that's apparently our theme today. Why is our theme purple? Is it... I don't know. I just used two straight purple candles. Is it, is it somehow related to the new set and or rhinos? The yes. two themes of the day? I think they can. I think they can figure it out, right? <laughs> hmm. God, there's so many. I guess this candle has kind of a purple um, container. 
Okay, wait. I'm just thinking about the game's thing. And now. it's called Lavender <laughs> Woods, which is very purple. So, okay. We can attack with the Sov. Make a clue. Exile some biz. Topia, the, the big guy? Oh. That seems pretty good. And then if we don't even have to activate. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. If they block, we destroy them. Actually, we probably just want to activate, though. Okay, I also, we should play the land first. Yes, yes. Because, like, we can attack with this, too. And then if they block, we get to get them. Okay, yeah, I, I'm in, I, I like this a lot. It seems like they kind of have no good blocks. Yeah, I want to exile. I know we have some collect evidence stuff. I know, it'll be fun. Yeah. And then, right. Until end of turn. Okay. So it isn't forever. It's just, it... Well, no, but if they block, we'll get them. Yeah. So we get them now. Yep. I guess that's not actually how I wanted to attack. Uh, that one. Nice. And I think I want to, like, counter whatever they play. Yeah, it's definitely... And we're getting more and more ahead each turn. We could play but this with the idea that next turn we could leave up Counterspell or just leave up the Bloomkin. Yeah. I think I like that, actually. I think I want to play Evanston. I'm just not that scared of most things they could do on turn yeah, 4, yeah, is yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, what yeah. I feel. I mean, if they play a big flyer, we'll be a little sad. We still have a Duke Inspector back. Like, it'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, and now we can start taking cards from their graveyard with the idea that we can still copy the Panther. Mm-mm. -mm. Okay, don't put this card in your deck. Also, <laughs> don't not attack with your suspected creatures. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they figured it out. I mean, they were. I guess they were just dead on board. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like what's about to happen to them is is, is unbelievably bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna like draw eighty bajillion cards and hit for a bajillion damage. <laughs> um, I I do think that suspect is like. I'm not sure it's a great mechanic. Yeah, I they think kind of, is... all the cards treat it like it's pure upside, and it's just not. Like, I think, I wish there was more suspecting of your opponent's stuff. Like, I feel like that's not that used. Like, I think they kind of missed it on, on suspect. Well, I agree with you. But, I mean, what I would say about this set is, okay, in contrast to our take on the last set, right? Like, where this I'm, set is at I'm is, keep this. Clues is one of the best limited mechanics of all time. Morph is one of the best limited mechanics of all time. Like, the, the War 2 twist is great. Yeah. Like, where this set's at is the Detective Tribal is solid. Basically, the set is just like, what if every mechanic was a banger and also there was suspected? Yeah. So, like, look, like, it's true the suspected isn't that appealing, but, you know, it's just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know, I drafted a red-black deck, and it just, like, wasn't actually a suspected deck. I want to take out It's Cold, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, might, we could just collect evidence with it at some point. Well, no, it exiles, but... Oh, wait, you're right. Eh, I'm still in. I mean, I think I just want to play this and play Evolving Wilds. Yeah, I like that. We need to get something in the yard, but that's okay. What did my black-red deck look like? It was an aggro red deck with a bunch of black kill spells. It was quite good, but it, like... Evolving Wilds will be in the yard. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um... Well, yeah, like, it is pretty nice that our slob can just exile one while and make a clue, even though it can't, like, you know, yeah. do anything with the other ones exiled. Ooh, surveilling in all formats, you say? I, well, <laughs> I guess if we hit something that's... Well, we have something big, big, big will probably top in this situation. Yeah, I guess that's true. Um, but let's play it still, right? I think so. And we can just, we'll counter unless they pay two if we have to. That's plenty. But wait, wait. If you play this off, you don't have to counter up because you don't have blue, blue. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. But I think I just want to play this off and not worry about it. I think guess. so too. Like mostly just like. Okay, let's do this first for information. Okay. That's in the bit. Agreed. It's evidence. Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to attack. Yeah, I think we're big chillers. Because if they attack, I want to block. Because oh. all of our creatures have names. By the way, Pompous... Jonathan, Enrique... Something you mind about Pompous Gadabout is that's what my friends call me. <laughs> mm -mm. Do we double block? Oh, wait, we can't. It's roped. Oh. 
Ah, okay, let's take five. Good, good talk. <laughs> it, w- it would have been a great play where it legal. Um, I mean, I'm pretty down to give him the beatdowns for four. And I would just also think make clue. I mean, we could, like, try and get, a, get, get him. <laughs> Like, if we attack with Lazav, make a clue, and say go, uh-huh. they're probably going to cast a spell, which we can counter and make a thing huge enough to block the 5-4. Well, but I want to just play the Lockstan thing and leave up clue or that. Okay. Notably, this won't grow to block if we... I know, but just, like, okay, so... I'm just not that afraid. Okay, I'm not... Okay. Well, yeah. I might tap the tips of her mana, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, to leave up... Wait, why? Mm, just because they kill the kitchen somehow and they force us to do things off might block. Okay, fair enough. And okay. I went for four. I agree. Basically, I think we're really far ahead in the value race and not that far behind. In the... Wait, wait. Oh. Okay, I think you should let's go land. Oh, right. By, but by Because of, because of, because of evidence, yeah. Because of evidence and because of uh, Chalk Alley. Yeah. Um, but yeah. It's fine. It, it, it doesn't matter much. We have a ton of value. You know what we call those? What you call pompous gadabouts? I, I certainly don't know what you call those. Andrews? S- systems? I'm, I'm not sure we're going with this. I'm going to counter. Yeah. Common or Pulse Mutation win. The, the reason Pulse Mutation is so fucked up is that it's great if you have two mana up and great if you have ten mana up. Like, it, it's just always good. Plays that would be good if they were legal? Wait, what is that, what is that referring to? Oh, the rope thing? Mm, okay. Crack a clue? Yeah, I mean, there is a weird thing where if we leave up two clues, we can... Oh, we actually will get another clue. Yeah, just crack a clue. You're right. And you should tap Swamp, I think. Agreed. Attack for eight, exile their thing? Yeah, I'm down for that. Hmm. <clears throat> Wait, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. And next turn we can become that thing. Yeah. I mean, we also can even become that thing and then attack. Yeah, that's true. But to be fair, there's I think a decent chance that we end up using our clues to like the the, the crack two clues in their turn and block pompous gadabout is I think a pretty reasonable play. Well, also, how do you feel about the chump block pompous gadabout play? Uh, okay, I also feel pretty reasonable about that, yeah. Like, if they attack with it, I I might just be thrilled. <laughs> yeah. I guess They're, the racing situation is, is We're unclear. winning the race. You should definitely play the island, though, I think. Oh, I agree. But I, I know that they're mind rots and punish and stuff, but it's just like, we have so much to do. I don't think it. I want to play this guy, though. Oh, no, oh do we want to sack a clue? Oh, no, we don't, because of I don't thing. think so, because okay. I can still imagine, like, I can imagine worlds we want to block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's not our default, but <coughs> doesn't have some weird evasion. Uh, this it does have weird. Yeah, it's it's he, he can't you can't block him if you're a no name. You have to ask them the name of the creature. Mm-mm. I think I want to block with the one one. No, no, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, I wanted to like have the option do this, but I don't want to actually do it. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah hexproof reach. This is fine. Oh, maybe they have plus two plus three and trample, but that's fine too. Sorry, we, we Sam, we didn't we didn't. Do, oh, you want to crack another clue to make the saw four four on our turn? Mm, that's same. Just like like just like essentially push two more damage and end up in the same spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. It doesn't pump the locks on again, but it does pump. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Should we make it a Hazada Vigilante until the turn? Probably not, right? Yeah, I might as well just like the you know destroy a four power thing or something. Ooh, well that's good. Uh, I would probably crack another. I know that means we can't Lissav pre-combat necessarily, but... I think... Well, we, we also of... can't do this pre-combat. Oh. Which, it's like good both ways, right? Hmm. Like, it makes both of these 4-4s, four then we're That's heading for That's a good eight. argument. Like, okay, okay. And we get to put a counter on this. We actually get to put, then, two counters on this. So they're actually, like, Also, we're going to put Chalk out line, right? And it's going to... I assume so, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can untap. What's about to happen is, is, is hideous. Right, so we play chalk outline, make this a 4 4, attack, this is a 4 4, make this into a 4 4 also. Yeah, can we collect Evans and Exile with the soft? Do we have enough stuff for that? Oh, uh. 
Looks we like have yes. to exile escape tunnel, but yes. We, yes, we just do. And we, we, we proc two. We chalk proc chalk, chalk out Well, this is it. We, oh, we, we don't. Oh, you're right. Never mind. We don't do that. Yeah. But that's okay. We still I probably still, do it. Yeah. He's reverse Rubble Stokeskin. Common reverse Rubble Stokeskin W. Which is one of the most ridiculous set of words I've ever said, if I'm being honest. Classic reading Lasav in response angle. So this is meaningless. Yeah, but I would make it a copy. It's for the culture, Greg. We should definitely collect evidence and proc our thing now. Yep, Excellent. and just make both a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, make the elephant a 4-4? Four, four? Wait, why is it both? I don't understand. Well, sorry. The... Oh, right. Cool. You want to make this bigger. I think yeah. so. And let's do this and this. Yes. Okay. A, a creature and, an, and a not creature. Yeah. And yeah, I want to make this bigger. Yeah. And like, I don't know, at this point, they're just like kind of drowning in value. Yeah. Like, we just like, I don't know, we're going to do too much like bids. Oh, and also we have cryptic code. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's a cryptic code in our hand. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> We just don't, we don't even need the script to go, like. Mm -mm. Do, do, you, do you think that Pompous Gadabout, when he's, he's, he's gadabouting, often sings Sympathy for the Devil? Mm, yes, no. No. I was thinking. <laughs> Greg needs to consider his options on that one. Wow. God, this is so unhinged. Um, Okay. I mean, I guess the thing is our attacks aren't very good. Yes. But we could collect evidence with Vitugazi Kai and proc our thing. I mean, we could also just play this. Collect evidence. Oh, with it, I'm making comments. Oh, that's pretty good. It's, it's four? Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Okay. okay. Let's play that encrypted code. Well, let's... Oh, yeah. Let's just play that encrypted code. Great. I mean, the encrypted code definitely is messed up, although... I assure you that if it were a Grey Ogre, we'd be winning. Yes. Like, this game, we comically don't need it. We're chalk outlining the shit out of our opponents. Yeah. Like, once again, don't pass chalk outline, okay? Like. Wow, this... and we got. Wait, you can flip this up for two and yeah. you get the. Yes. Oh, baby! That's oh, so we, messed we, we up! We can and we will. We got. They're gonna die to unblockableness. It's really <sighs> nice. All right, so we collect evidence, collect evidence we proc our chalk four, outline. Proc the chalk outline. Proc our other biz. Make two clues and a detective. Eh, go. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you think we have enough biz? <laughs> Are they going to sack the rope? Sack the rope! <laughs> what I like is that if they happen to have the wrath, we'll just still easily win. <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> We'll just be left with five clues, or, yeah, four clues and a coat. I mean, someone in chat proposed this during the draft portion. The problem with Critic Code in our deck is that it will really cut off our ability to generate more value by killing them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, which I, it's really not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was having so much fun beating people up with red herrings, but this is pretty fun. I mean... Again. God, also, me claiming that Red Herring is the best card in the set is so funny. I didn't even realize that. Oh, it, it, it's, it's great because of the superstition of bit and not of it. Yes. They'll never know. <laughs> I'm going to tweet it. I'm going to tweet Red Herring is the best common in the set. Oh, look at this. Let's sneak it off. <laughs> Like, seriously, like, look at this. We, we, chalk outline, it's, it's just so, it's just so easy, you know? <laughs> Wait, they don't get to look. It's a cloak. Said we would know immediately. What, what does that mean? If you said that red herring was the best common oh, yes, set, yes. we'd know immediately. Yeah, that's true. If you meant it or not. I don't have as wide a range as you, you know? <laughs> Bin I mean, bin, I forest think. is not good here. I agree. Yeah, I think bin bin. Because even if we draw another non-land next turn, we have another two looks yeah. at it with our thing. So 
That makes me feel a little better, uh, to be honest. Uh, That's actually a pretty good draw. I'm going to, like, attack first, I think. What are these? They're swamps? They're swamps. Okay. There's no way you can determine that by looking at them, but they are, in fact, swamps. C common, un unknowable basic land, L. I don't really want the Dugazi Inspector, I think. I don't either. We got plenty of evidence collection yeah. at the ready. And we do need a fourth land, although we have the Gardener, so it's not like, sure, sure. an urgent issue. I hope their hand is full of kill spells. <laughs> well, what's so great about Robot Maverick is it also just like is a two, it is two two worth of stats too. Yeah. Like this is something I think people underestimate. It's like, look, like if you just like play this card and then just like even like just like chump block with it or something, you get one mechanic back. It's not even that bad, and it works with everything you can imagine. Like if you name a card, it works with that card. I'll play this. Yeah, I think I'm in. It's a little dangerous if they kill it, but it's board two, so that's like pretty hard. It's like only bad against like slice from the shadows, I guess. But even then we have to wait till we draw the fourth land, which we might not draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah I wanna yeah. just play it. That well that that, that was a little ambitious, Greg. We might have we could have won to jump block. We're at twenty! <laughs> I know. Would you rather than be dead or alive? Oh, good point, good point, actually. Uh, I know I, I I think maybe the tax right because we can chump block like next turn. Well, but and we like... have evidence examined. Yeah, like, it, that's definitely true. It, it, it's it's pretty... Fuck. It's okay. I mean, I think it's just fine. They yeah. have to take their whole turn to do that. Like, That's fair. If we if we just don't find a land, we'll just play the, the thing. We'll examine some evidence? Yeah. I mean, you could even just, like, not. They missed a land drop. But no, I, I want to I play this. I mean, I, think, I mean, are we going to just, like, make a clue? Yeah. Uh, we, we, do we have a non-creature in the bin, or... What's our exact bin? Yeah, out cold. Oh, yeah. out cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. I want to play okay. it and collect it out cold. Is that yeah, is. yeah, yeah. And then I think I would still attack as well. I agree. Yeah. So here's an interesting question for you, Greg. Yep. When you collect out cold as evidence, what would you say you're collecting? Is it like a block? Like you take a block of ice and you're like, this will be oh, our yeah, evidence? Look at the art. Uh, okay, so that, <laughs> that, that's the evidence we're collecting yeah, is that yeah, block yeah. of ice? Yeah, with the thing still inside. Okay, and that block of ice turned out to be a clue. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Our evidence examiner collected the out cold as evidence, and, it, and our evidence examiner found a clue in the block of ice. Okay, that's actually pretty pretty fearful. Good, 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 good work, Watsi. And the clue was a locket. So there was a locket in the block of ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Zax, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would probably spam chalk outline. I agree. Do you want to now hold back a guy? Definitely. Yeah, okay, I regret not not trumping earlier. Yeah. Well, the tricky part is we don't know when we're going to draw the fourth land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I honestly just think it will be fine. Like, if my opponent wants to accept the deal of your moded, we will figure out a way to win. Agreed. Also, we can still... <laughs> we, can, we, can like, well, we can start doing these kind of things. Like also, wait, look at... Look, there's the chalk... They can't see it because our face is hiding it. But there's a chalk outline on the battlefield right next to chalk outline. Does wow! That, does that exile it? Nope. Oh. Um, I don't know if our opponent wanted to do that. Not gonna lie. I mean, they got three damage out of it and a clue. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So you want to do, do the thing? Yeah. I mean, they, you can kill this one in response if you'd like. Look, opponent, that's, that's just Also, they enough. might not. I, I might counter if they do it. No, I think we should let it happen. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Then we just play well, this... what I like is that it would make it into a 3-3. Three, three. I know, we just play the second one and then we... we like, yeah. The value won't stop, you know? <laughs> And then we can attack for two, we can double block with three three attacks, and like yeah. they're just in huge trouble. We definitely want one lane. We might want both. I'm pretty in for both, I think. I think so too. Do you want them in this order? I think I do. Well Depends what we're gonna do next turn. Because we might like play like all our stuff's even except this. Mm. I think I want them in the order they're in. Oh no, in the other Wait. order. Oh, we could. Well, oh, I know we could do that. I, I wonder if so far you'd want to leave counter magic for the clue. I, I'm certainly aware that's an option, Sam. I think I want to 
draw it now, actually. I, okay, you think we just don't care? I think we don't care. Okay, we can draw it now. We're not going to be shields up on the counter spell the whole time. and like. That's fair, that's fair. But, like, then... Oh, we, I guess are we if we... Are it? Yeah, okay, wait. Mm. Okay, I have some regrets. I think it's fine. I think we just draw the tunnel now and we crack it. I mean, we do need black mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I would attack for two still. Yeah. It's just, like, so hard for them to get through all this biz we're doing to them. Yeah. There's too much biz. Have you seen Escape Tunnel be used for its other mode? I have not yet. Okay. I did have a game where I, like, chose to not <laughs> crack it. Because I was, like, they were, like, at eight. Um, and I was, like, well, I guess, like, I don't need more mana, so I might as well just sit on this. But it didn't end up mattering. Yeah, like, I, I, I think that given that we were going to do this, we definitely just crack it. Yeah. Oh, I agree that Chalk Outlining being good is kind of good for the format. Um, Dog Block. Yep. I mean, it, like, this is so fucked up because, like, what are they going to do? Get, get us with a with a, with a trick? Like, <laughs> <Yep>. okay. <laughs> like, we just don't care. Now, notably, if we did have the Repulse Mutation up, well, I guess it wouldn't be that great. Yeah, never mind. This is fine. I guess Island is a much better draw, but... It's a little better. I, I, much better seems strong. Is there another creature in our bin to pull us off? Ah, there sure is. There are a million creatures in our bin. Okay, so do you want to Lasav and... Eavesdropper? Or Lasav and... Probably... Do this? Probably Eavesdropper, because we want to be mana efficient, I, I guess. so, yeah. I mean, yeah. what I like about making this a 3-3 is that it can block the Assailant. I know, but we just, like, block it with whatever. We'll have, yeah, like, yeah. a million detectives. It, like, I don't know. It's fine. Well, we're not making any more, because Lasav is when it attacks. Oh, right, that's true. Maybe it is better to use normal Maverick and to crack a clue instead as a way to defend our mana? Well, and, and play Lazav. Yes. And not play the eavesdropper. Yes. Okay, I actually like that all, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so use this. Yeah. Make a 2-2, two -two, make a clue, make Lazav, play a land, just say go. <coughs> yes. I and mean, we can attack for three if you wanted. Yeah, I, mean, I think I'm... we're winning. We're like crushing them on value that I'd rather not. But well, yes, the problem for our opponent is that we have f like two clues in play, the same number of lands, more creatures, and like basically you can't include these cards in hand. We're just like up like three cards or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of their cards also might be lands. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we will accept another two cards with the value. This is about Maverick. It's already given us card selection. Yep. They have the Black Wrath. I mean, maybe. I mean, that would always be good here. They would, like, destroy our board and exile the Robobelt Maverick. Also... I and they we... take out all the Robobelt Mavericks from our deck! <laughs> uh, that actually is kind of savage. <laughs> nope, it's Shady Informant. Uh, they'd be like, surely they can't have any more. <laughs> and then he's like, oh no. <laughs> you don't understand? We have so much more. Ooh... So, what sort of things can we make Lasav here? We could make it a... N oh, wait. That doesn't do anything. Uh, I guess nothing... Maybe, like... We sort of want to make it something biggish, is the thing. And like, we could make it this. Yeah, like, I don't want it to die in combat. Like, I sort of want to cycle Topiary Panther so we have a big thing to Lasav back. Although, this still trades with Topiary Panther. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Although, not if we give it a... No, even if we give it a counter. Okay, wait. Maybe maybe we shouldn't worry about this. What if maybe we could just maybe we just use our Maverick on Lasav? Well, I guess we don't need to do that then. Mm. What if we just play Tipster and wait? I kind of just want to exile Tipster on the two two token and okay. attack with both and exile something. Okay, I, I like that. Also, yeah, we we can can, can you just cast a false mutation? You just can, right? Yeah. As a combat trick, like that yep. is an option. Although I don't think we want to take it. I'm just kind of down to, like, trade our Lasav, I, th I think. I, I, I think know. it's fine. It's so much Val. Uh, I guess the 3-3 three, three is the best there. 3-3? Three, three. Oh, no, wait. We no, want to take it. Uh, so just, I'm going to take yes, Gardner. Yes, yes, yeah. Gardner. Like, it's just like, our Lasav making two clues and a 2-2, two, two, which is like, I don't know, man. It, it'll be okay. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a two for one, kind of. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, do you mean in our favor? Or, like, don't be ridiculous. Uh, and then we just, like, play Tipster and pass, maybe? I, I want to just pass. I think they're going to cast a spell and we'll kill them. Okay, I mean, counter unless you pay four is probably good enough. Well, I know, but I want them to be dead. Oh. Oh, I guess they won't even be dead. They'll be one off dead, which is pretty awkward. If we cast it for three, three, six, seven, okay, eight. Okay, let's yeah. play the tipster. I think, I think the tipster's good. Okay. Yeah, basically, like, we've reached the stage of the game of we just have enough value. Yeah. I, I know that, you know, friend of the stream, Sam Black, doesn't believe in this concept, but I do. This can resolve. <laughs> this, I guess this is being saved for next game, huh? Uh, this can resolve. Yeah, I mean, we can, we can counter nothing ever. If you'd like... <laughs> I want to counter, like, Incinerator of the Guilty. Yeah, yeah, that's and fair. And little else. Hmm. I mean, could just kill their thing. I like kill their thing. Yeah. I really like the design on this card because it's, it's, it's semi-efficient at killing morphs, but it's not actually efficient at killing anything else. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think it's at a nice power point. Point in the power band. P PowerPoint is probably not quite the right phrasing, but yes. Meh, go. Oh, you know, we'll just pass. We have three cards, three clues, three creatures <laughs> in play, and by the way, Chalk Outline is still here. Um, Meh, that's okay. I mean, that card doesn't matter, yeah. I mean, I do think that card is good. It does impress me, but it, it, it's just completely irrelevant here. Okay, fine. Let's counter it. Yeah, you can counter it and they die. Which is kind of nice. Mm. Make a 4 4 detective, maybe? Make a 3 P kipster? I'm going to go know. wide, yeah. Okay. <laughs> as, as usual, it, it, it couldn't matter less. Oh no! Something will gain death touch. <laughs> Hard to say, I will beat that. Ooh. Wee! <laughs> 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 yeah. Maybe we, just start, maybe we should start not putting cryptic code in our deck so that we can more easily grind value, you know? <laughs> God, this deck's so fun! I mean, I love the blue-green deck. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I'm definitely going to spend a lot of the format drafting white aggro. It's, like, a big part of what's good. Yeah. But, like, if you want to draft control, this is what it fucking looks like. Yeah. It looks like chalk outlines and mavericks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we, did we cut a maverick? Yes. Should we? I want to uncut it. I mean, that's reasonable, but cutting cards for deck is like pulling teeth. I, I'm down. I just don't know what the cut is. Eh, okay, maybe four. four is a lot in a limited deck. I mean, the main problem is just that if we, you, it is possible to play a game where we don't draw one of our two chalk outlines. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. I mean, I. But, I mean, they do help dig. Yeah. Through, like yeah. it's a little weird. So maybe yeah. that isn't a great argument. But. Mm -mm. I, I'm very sure that given that you have chalk outline, you should start se several Mavericks. I just am worried the limit is below five. Uh, I hope it was a lot. Mr. Catfish, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Like, it's really good. Like, you should, in general, you shouldn't pass it. Yes, we have five Mavericks. We're only playing four. Um, I'm going to bin bin. I, I think bin bin, yeah. yeah. That, that, that gives a lot of evidence to collect. Yeah. God, Maverick's so good with Maverick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maverick into Maverick, whole deck wins. Whole deck wins! <laughs> Greg, are you excited for the sealed LCQs? Yes! <laughs> I bet Chalk Outline's pretty good in sealed. Do we? We don't want to hold... There's no reason to hold it. Well, they, 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 I mean, there could be... Like, make your move or something? I mean, eh. the three man, the short target, four power thing, or enchantment. Yeah, the make your move. I mean, it's not that insane to just play Ma or Black Maverick Pass. Let's play this. We okay. can, like, crack the clue next turn. Like, Yeah. I mean, it, it's, yeah. It's definitely right if they don't immediately kill it. Yeah. I'm just a little afraid of that because our hand is sort of all in. But. It'll be fine. We'll find the other one with the other Maverick. Also, that card's not that good. There's also O-Ring as well in the set. Makeshift Binding? Makeshift Binding only hits creatures. Oh. Well, you learn something every day. All right. Great play, Greg. Okay. On the Maverick? I would start by me playing our other Maverick, but it's fine to not, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I was going to start with this and then crack the clue. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Meh, okay. Maverick? Yep. The idea being that we'll see what we need, kind of, yeah. Well, we definitely want the black source. Yeah, it's I guess we can keep this because then we can decide later. Yeah, it's like it's probably right to keep it because maybe I we should just bin it and like because we like it's gonna be a while before we slice anything in the shadows. Yeah, it's just the sort of thing we could use in this game potentially. Eh, okay, let's keep it. Yeah, I think I'm in. Oh yes, okay. Ch Ch Chaga Lang is really good. Okay, like it's like it takes time. But it, it just does a lot of stuff. It does stuff until they stop moving. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty down to just, like... Well, we just we just not play Mortuary if you want. But... I don't want to do that. Okay. I think I, that's probably strange. Yeah. I think we should probably just play it, and, and it's fine. Yeah, I agree. Oh, wait. Yeah. Here's a class question. Do you want to attack with on one of our things? No, because they have a 1-3. Great. I want to attack with a 1-1. Oh. What are they going to do? Block it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I I'd, rather, I'd rather be dead. <laughs> Like, once you have the chalk outline, Nick, it's just, it's just, oh no! No! <laughs> oh, make your move. Sa savage, make your move. Wow. Such a beat. All right, anyways, we have Curious Cadaver. It's fine. Yeah. Mm, Curious Cadaver doesn't look that good without the chalk outline, but. Nah, Greg, ye of little faith. Believe, believe in the cadaver, Greg. Aren't you at least a little curious about this cadaver? Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> I mean, they're also not really doing anything. So Prairie Force is the 1-1 one, one lifelink, right? Yeah. Okay, I mean, do we want to trade Curious Cadaver for that? It's not insane. I we'll... think yes, and because of that, I want to not attack. Oh. Okay. We need to sit around. I, I want to just sit around. I'm down. They're the beatdown. <laughs> Everyone's the beatdown against us, Greg. Have you seen our deck? It's, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, I think this game is a good argument for... um. Four old belt fabrics, not five. Overrun, huh? Wait, wait, wait. We should we should kill their morphin response. That's true. Should I do it more? I mean you might you kinda of might as well do it for like as much mana as you want. Like four or five. This is so weird that you have to decline I know. the slice. You can accept if you want in this situation. I guess that's true. What was it? That? Okay. Okay, I want to trade this. Um, and then maybe I just want to take 10. I kind of want to cash in our Rebel Maverick for 5 life. Okay. I mean, I don't want to, like, have it be our graveyard anytime soon, but okay. I'm happy to just, like, cash it in, yeah. I like that. Trample? Oh, they trample? Oh. Okay, we shouldn't have done that then. Whoops. I mean, the other play we would have made. It's, it's yeah. fine. I just didn't know the card granted trample. I don't know what you want. It's not like... Look, it, it's a split card. It's so much shit to learn. Meh, this is fine. You should play the land, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just like, if we draw a chalk outline, we'll, we'll, we might use all our mana. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, even if we draw, like, the elephant, we oh, might use all our mana. Nice. We'll, like, play the elephant, crack the clue, get back to your cadaver, and it'll just, like, be a lot of biz. Like, the game's kind of scrappy now, but we're not, like, meaningfully losing. Wait, so that three two, does it do anything? When it dies, it makes a two two. I see. So they're just trying to like get their vowel. I think so. I mean, I think we can just give it to them. I think so. And I don't mind just flipping this up and taking our land. Sure, that's fine. I don't know if that's better than blowing the detective and like preserving the mystery. Eh, maybe we should preserve the mystery. Mm -mm. I think we should preserve the mystery. Okay. Are we running seventeen eight lands deck? Oh, oh no, Zach. <laughs> you sweet summer child. <laughs> We're running 15. <laughs> well, that's okay, a great draw. That's a great draw. Do we want to wait? I think we probably want to do it on their turn, yeah. Okay. Oh, why block with token instead of maverick? Mm -mm. Mm, good point. Well, we have a lot of we have a lot of one drops that dig, and we have a lot of tunnel tipsters, and we have the lamp cycling guy. It's definitely right in our deck. I think it's right by a lot. Like, yeah, we're closer to fourteen than sixteen. It's a closer than fourteen sixteen angle for sure. But we have like twenty two mana sources or something. So our number of mana sources is in, is, is, abs is absurd. But yeah. yeah. So I have a question about all these detective tokens. You know. Okay. So who's who's hiring them when you like make these tokens? Like, what's happening? 
You know, like when that guy dies, the detective's just like, "I'm on the case." That's the that's that's the deal. Like, uh huh. I, I think yeah. That... Some okay. The, wait, there's actually a flavorful. Ex- so wait, I kind of want to talk one, three, and two, two. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay, cool. that's what I wanted to do. Nice. The, apparently, okay, Tristani did all the murders, right? Mm-hmm. And when she started murdering the guild leaders, everyone started paying attention. But there's this, like, thing in the story about how she actually reveals that she's just been, like, low-key murdering people for weeks. But nobody noticed. Nobody, like, big, you know, the, the Sherlock Holmes of the set didn't notice until it was, like, the guild leaders. Sure. So the point is that, like, there have been a bunch of, like, random detectives who are investigating all the other murders. Like, because people, a lot of people had their, like, friends and colleagues murdered. So they're, like, suddenly they have to pay attention, you know? Yeah, that make that that's logical, I think. <laughs> I love the I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certainly not sure it's logical. Oh yeah, Trasani did nothing wrong. We all know it. Like well, we're, 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 <laughs> we're so smart. Yeah, are we gonna work it up? Well, Always. I want them to pay the ward first. Sure. Might as well. But actually, I think what's happening here is a good example of why galvanize is is just like. Kind of mid in this set. Blue? Yeah, blue seems reasonable. Maybe black, because we have cadaver. Let's say oh, black. Oh, black. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, this thing I was doing when we were playing. Like, I'm not saying removal is, like, bad in the set, or you shouldn't play it. It's just that, like, everything two-for-one's all the time. Well, yeah, and it's all more expensive than it looks. So, so like, you, you galvanize something, and it's like, look, that thing, I'm gonna like... crack this now, by the way. Yeah. And get back the cadaver. No, definitely. Yeah. That, like, thing probably drew a card somehow. Yeah. And, like, that doesn't that doesn't mean that, like... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Do you want to play all of our cards? All our biz. Biz on table. <laughs> and I want to make a clue. Yeah. I don't see a reason not to. We can probably collect something that we have in four. Oh, out cold again. Great, out cold. We also collect chalk outline. Oh, the, yeah. the, the classic, the chalk outline itself is the evidence, Greg. <laughs> You can attack if you want. <laughs> Wait, I, I actually will want to block with it. Because I don't want to block with this because it gives a clue. Oh, sure. That, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. All right. I like the 10 on the, the evidence examiner. <laughs> it's like, how much evidence do you have? <laughs> well, we got a lot of evidence. The evidence is being examined. <laughs> God damn, Crypto Code. Stupid Crypto Code. Common Crypto Code L, honestly. Um, how many cards are in our library? 18. I want to crack a clue. Wait, so... Yeah, we can crack a clue. I don't know. Because I want to attack with this and I want to have Vidge. Sure, sure. That's fine. I don't know. It's sort of that we sort of reach take some random game actions okay, territory. Okay, yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> like, it so doesn't matter. Like, we could, like, play Cryptic Code and, like, bounce it a few times. <laughs> we could crack some clues for value. Yeah! <laughs> oh, new plan. Okay, new plan. Play Chalk Outline. That's way it's more way fun. way better than Cryptic Code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm on the same page. Now we exile our Maverick to put a counter on, I don't know, Tunnel the Tipster? Fire? I think maybe Tunnel Tips. Wait. Because I want to attack with it. Okay. You well, actually, it. if you want to attack with it, you shouldn't make... Well, I guess this will be able to block a three. Okay, Tunnel. I don't want to attack with it. Okay, don't attack with it. Just put it on the cap or whatever. It's fine. What about the examiner? Oh, we do that. Then we attack then, with the examiner. Yeah. And by the way, we're going to collect evidence and do the thing again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Our evidence examiner. Okay. How will we recover? <laughs> We should probably play Cryptic Code, huh? Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. <laughs> it does grow the tipster. I do like that part. Alpha? I don't want to... Aren't they still the V-Town? I want to do like this. Okay, sure. That's fine. I guess that we should, like, maybe this, actually. No, I think the 3-1 attacking is proper. Well, it's going to come back for free. Okay, yeah, yeah, fine, yeah, fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this attack. Okay, 16 cards in the library. That's so many. Greg, we're not going to deck. We're not, it's not going to be even close to being close. They will be dead so long. Yeah, long yeah, there. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, we got the chalk outline. Like, here's the dabber. We got the chalk outline with 2,700 things to enable it. I mean, yeah. like, the deck we have drafted is completely... Obs- what's happening, I think, is that, like, someone told people that, like, what's hyped up in the set is white aggro, which is true. Which is true. And red, is- red, red, white, red also. <laughs> yeah, like, white aggro is very good. Is very good. Yeah. So in the draft we played, like... Blue green was like more open than it should ever be, or maybe will ever be again. Yeah, and we just like happened to take a uh, chalk outline back one pick one because we think it's one of the best uncommons of the set. Yes, um, 
So, like, now we're here. Although, exclamation point deck will give you a rhinos list. Notably, that will show you our rhinos list. But maybe list. you wanted that, because it does say in the description that that's where you can find our rhinos list. It's just in case you want to investigate the rhinos list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That means it's neat. What could go wrong? I do hate this crypto code in it. <laughs> Common Crypto Codel, honestly. And I want to play this. I think so, yeah. Yeah. We're just going to play Tap Land and... Ben? Ben. How many lands are we playing? 15? 15. I mean, we should have a million things that find lands. Like, it, it, I think it's pretty clearly right. Ooh. Hmm. We could play two Robot Mavericks with threat to double block. <laughs> That's pretty hinged. I like it. Let's play one first. <laughs> okay. So be clear, is there something you can see that would cause you not to play the second? That's objectively correct. Oh. <laughs> top, top. Well, I don't know if we want Repulse Mutation. We might want it. <clears throat> it's just like we have a lot of stuff to do. But uh, we might want it. I think I want it. Okay, yeah. I'm done. Top, top. Yeah. That second one, top, top. It's just a classic Robo Maverick, lean with the top, Robo Maverick, lean with the top again. All right, here you go. <laughs> You think it's really unlikely that we get to block? Eh. I don't know. Like, our opponent just not have a three drop, you know? Like, not everyone always clears out perfectly limited. Also, I want to play the Gardener and not the Tap Land. Yeah, I want to play the Gardener too. How are we getting the Blue Man without some rotation? Uh, like, like this? Uh... Do you want to tap with one of them? No, because if they... I, I want to be able to threaten to double block. Okay, it's just that, yeah, yeah. Eh, we can attack with one of them. Yeah, Maybe I don't really I... care about think double block, but... Okay, let's attack with one of them. Okay. It's just a classic attack. Tap out completely, attack with our one of them, go ahead. Also, this is gonna... They're gonna get some clues. <laughs> Wait, so what is, exactly does it do? It's whenever a thing dies? It's, no, it's, it's, um... If we have more cards in hand than them... Oh, no! <laughs> We will often have more cards than them. Hmm, a minor punish. I think I want to, this off the board. Yeah, I want to just trade for it. Okay. I know it's a little awkward how it worked out, but I think it's fine. Yep. So just tap land this go? Yeah. And then we can just find blue at our leisure. Yep. You, you, can, you can let me know when your leisure strikes. When, when the mood feels right, you know, Greg? Yep. Maybe maybe attacking with the robot Maverick was wrong that turn. I was just afraid they were gonna get their thing flying and really get one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, I actually I, I like it actually. But where did these clues come from? Oh, from their They went that away. Long goodbye, what's the target? Our morph again? The morph. Okay. Sure. I mean they are denying us these trooper ones, but it's just not that big a deal. Yeah. They're re really just harming their own Wojic investigator, if I'm being honest. I would like to draw a land. Yeah, me too, but I'll also live with that one. Eh. Chalk out Lango. I mean, it's not a flawless plan, but it seems pretty good. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of at the point of we could take draw we could take like three lands in a row, I think. Yeah. Although at some point we do need to, to stop the investigation. Hmm. I guess we shouldn't block. I mean I think blocking is hinged. Well the issue is if we draw land, blocking is bad. Why? Because then we can play second chalk outline oh, thing. Oh yeah. Okay, we can take four. I wanna take four. Yeah, I mean, I am being very worried. I'm, be, I'm trying to be careful though, like told, just because I do think rapidly all Grand Prix will cease to matter and the game is going to be about whether we can beat this Wojcik Investigator. I agree. I think it's five times. But I still think you're right in the end. Uh-oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it's pretty scary. <laughs> okay, Cryptic Coat XLI thing. Yep. We're just like not going for Max Battle, I think. Wait. Uh, Ooh. I don't know if I would target that. Yep. Sorry, that was wrong. Nah, it's okay. Okay, pass. Yeah, Barb's sort of the weird, the weird, uh, Sprex in here, right? Yeah. So, okay, if we block it with two things, then we don't, they don't draw a card, is that the deal? 
it just has menace, and if it hits us, they. So like, oh, wait, 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 if we just block it, does anything happen? Uh, I don't think so. Whenever it's dealt damage, target opponent loses that much life. Yes. Oh. We should just take it. Presumably. We should take it. Yeah. Okay, that, that that's what I thought. I was trying to remember the cards text. Are we both planning on playing Chicago? No, Greg has a wedding. Yeah, it's Gre not my wedding, to be clear. Greg's going to his wedding. Yeah. Um. I think we might lose this one. <laughs> well, I know. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks. I will be there, and of and friend of the stream MSJ will be there, and. Many, many cool people will be there. Many friends of the stream will be there. Hmm. So, hmm, how do we get out of this? I mean, we might just need to play more biz. Like, play some tunnel tipsters? I kind of think that might be right, yeah. Music, what if we crack a clue? What are you hoping it is? If it's um Slice from the Shadows, we could kill the Servitor. That's true. Okay, we, 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 we can crack it. I think we should crack it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we played this game 100% technically awfully, but I also sort of think none of it matters. Yeah. Like, what's actually happening is we're losing to Wojcik Investigator. We've been losing to Wojcik Investigator for five turns. Yeah. And to Barb Servitor, to a lesser extent. Yeah. Our opponent's doing a good job of keeping the beats coming and the cards flowing. Yeah. Mm. DC, you should certainly be in Girk Cosplay. Girk Cosplay sounds nice. <laughs> I don't think I can realistically be in Girk Cosplay, though, because I'm going to energy beforehand, and I'm flying, you know, some budget airline to get there. So I, I, I don't really think I'll have backspace for, for a good cosplay. Is yeah, the issue. I'm going to concede. I think we're I think we're dead, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough game. I, mean, I did, when I was searching for cards to make rhinos, I did find a Gurk. Nice. And it's like a, a black and white Gurk. Oh, nice. It, it, it has, you know. Wait, didn't you open that at the pre-release? Is that where it's from? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I, I famously attended this pre-release with you. Nice. Even though I wasn't living in Minnesota at the time. Correct. Nice. It was great. I just like had planned a weekend to visit Minneapolis while I was living in New York. And then I was like, oh, shit, it's the pre-release. <laughs> in fact, this actually happened twice. Pre-releases just happen all the time these days. <laughs> Common pre-release W. The other one was Modern Horizons 2. Keep. Keep. Honestly, sneak it off. Yeah. Mm -mm. What's today's candle? Wow, a lot of love for the candle today. This is the most we've been asked about the candle in a long time. Um... Okay. I don't think we want repulse creatures here. I agree. Do we want escape tunnel? I mean, it's much worse than normal land, but also much better than not a land. Agreed. Let's keep it. I think I'm in. Honestly, the curve of turn two tipster, turn three tap land morph is pretty nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, great question. Today's candle sponsor is this you. lovely Lavender Woods candle um, from Target's new Threshold collection. Nice glass that is proof of burns and lacerations. Beautiful purple color and lavender scent. For those who don't know, we're unofficially sponsored by the discount candle section at Target. And you can always hit us up with an exclamation point Target to ask us about the candle of the day. Hmm, I guess we're kind of incentivized to play second tipster before we play more fun. Yep. And do you want to play Maverick? Okay, if we're going to play Maverick, we should first crack a skate tunnel for black. Good point. Uh... But I think we should. Okay, let's do it. Exclaim target. <laughs> wow, that, that, that is a great fictional command. F from, the, from the system magic fictional command section, it's great. Yeah. Shadowless, like half the commands we discuss on stream aren't even real. But we definitely want one of them. Agreed. I think I want exactly one of I them. I think so too, yeah. And then this. God, I kind of love our board. What do we have in play? Oh, you know, two tunnel tips and two robots, <laughs> Mavericks. Sure. That is completely fine. I mean, I guess it kind of embarrasses the 3-1 flyer in our hand, but mm, it'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think it will be a problem. 
mean, the thing is, we could slam Topiary Panther. I love slam Topiary Panther, I think. Yeah. I guess this is, it's eight to do both things, so it's like a little awkward. Meh, let's slam it. Also, okay, I'm not a huge believer in this card. I agree. I think it's so clunky. Three, like, I, it really feels to me like this guy's cost of the card is supposed to be blue, black, blue, black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, one blue, black, blue, black is just, is just you, you can't afford that. You know, like, you're not made of money. Okay, play all the cards in our hand. Well, oh, we don't have mana to play the Morphin Yep, okay, yep, I like that. That's what I was trying to figure out, and then I realized the play I was proposing was not legal. Mm -mm. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's true. It does eat the two on lifelink and the um and the the dog walker. Yeah, I agree, but I'm I still just worried it's, the rate is so bad. I don't know. I I guess I agree that it lines up well, but I'm I'm worried that's not enough. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. I admit I haven't played Snoop that much. I don't think I drafted. I don't think I drafted Snoop at our at our uh, draft weekend. So I, yeah, I, my experience with this is only against it. Do we want to surveil in our upkeep? That's too cute, right? It's not crazy, and we really don't want to draw wins. But we we just won't be able to draw the card we hit, right? I think we should just draw. Okay, yeah. That's reasonable, yeah. We will be able to play it this turn anyway. Okay, so do you want to flip this? Maybe attack, attack? Yeah, I like attack, attack. That's, that sounds pretty reasonable. In fact, we could attack more. Alpha? Alpha. I love alpha. Okay. I like alpha. Main phase flip? Well, why? I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's a reason to main phase flip. Well, we should flip before we do the... Oh! We're not casting that now. We're just not playing okay, it all. Yeah. That, that In fact, we actually, we are going to play it. We're going to go get two forests... One into play, one into our hand. Oh, hmm. I was thinking we want to save it so we get the, the scry on the land and then later the scry on it. Wait. Well, okay, let's... Okay, this one onto the battlefield. Yeah, I guess it depends on whether we scry top or bottom. Yeah. Okay, nah. we just scry top. Top. And then we just don't play it, it's fine. Yep. You can play the force, though. Yep. What are they going to do, mine rot away our robot thing? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a rare Instar deck actually needing a Cryptic Coat to win, so... Yeah. Fine, I suppose we'll Cryptic Coat. Where are our chalk outlines, chat? <laughs> we demand more chalk outlines. We the people. Yeah. I guess they're not very good. We don't have that. We don't have any way to trigger them, kind of. Mm, also, I'm not sure I would make the statement. God, I love... See, this is my issue with Suspect. Like, <laughs> I get yeah. they kind of had to do it to get the Surveil 1, because I think their hand was bad. They needed lands. Like, they were clearly missing some colors, but, like, they just neutered their own one for like yeah they did do that mm -mm. yeah honestly my only regret is that we lost a single game uh we did not refund you you can redeem it for this stream zach that, yes. that plays yeah we we, we accept <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do suspect the same, Armath. That's definitely true. Strong prior in favor. Yeah. Um, mm. The 2-4 Angel that we got beat up by is the most Greg card in the set. Mm, that makes sense. It's a very good card. It's just like the 3-mana 2-3 that, that investigates when you cast the cheap thing. Yeah. Those are the same cards. Uh, no. Zach, I'm going to make you a deal. I'll refund your last Neoform stream to Zach. <laughs> That's great. Zach deserves it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. I think maybe this card is not needed in our deck. Yeah, I'm coming around to that opinion. I guess we have the combo, but... Do you think the green-black uncommon that is supposed to fit his theme works? Uh, I don't actually... Oh, this card is good, I think. Wait, can I read it again? Sorry? Which one is that one? Oh, it's that one. Yes, I also think that card is good. But we did draw the natural combo. Yeah, I mean, we just play tips there. Yeah. 
Um, Which, by the way, is this and this. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't know. What I will say is about Green Black is I do think secretly a lot of the the supposed Green Black playoffs are better in Blue Green, which does concern me for Green Black. Yeah. But I do think someone drafted a Green Black uh, deck at our draft camp and went two one, which you know is is decent at least. It's definitely like a thing you can reasonably do. Yeah, and I think we just pass. I don't really know how we're gonna block. We might block in some way though if they attack. I agree. I mean, I'll, the morph will block the clandestine guy for sure. If they just attack with the two three and loot again, mm, okay, let's flip. Well, yeah, we definitely flip. We go get swamp, I think. Uh, yeah. We could get no. I don't want to get this. I don't land. think we want the land. Yeah. Mostly, I mean, just for like, it, it's just like we don't even know what we want is the yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I see. You're trying to switch out because it doesn't well, do anything here, right? Well, no, no. They'll discard a card and draw a card. And oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. You guys were saying, yes, of yeah. course they will. And it just gives them, or it's a it's a 2 3 that gives them a rummage every turn. Yeah. It's definitely a nice card. Mm hmm. What should we do now? We could do this, this, and then we end up with a 2 2 and a 2, and put it on itself, and then we have a 2 2 and a 2 4. I mean, that's not insane. That does just kind of completely stonewall their board. Yeah, I mean, we lose a value on the evidence examiner, but we might not care. Oh, wait. I don't want to lose that value. Well, we. Yeah, but like, okay. what do you want to do? Like, basically, it's well, the other. I, I think the other play is just Evidence Examiner go, and then we Land Cycle. No, no, it would be Land Cycle, play a Land Evidence Examiner go, right? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Because we, we, we haven't played a Land this turn, right? Oh, so we could, like, Land Cycle or play the Morph. Wait, have we played a Land? Am I mistaken? No, I don't think so, because we... No, we did, right? We curved... Oh, we did, we did. Yeah, 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 we did. Okay, okay. Well, we can we can then maybe... I, I just want to do this. I think it's too good. Okay, I think so, too. Cool. And get an island, maybe? Sure, that seems reasonable. We, we got some blue cards in our hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It's a classic. Andrew doesn't know whether or not we've uh, we played a land yet, so I would probably click all those lands a few times <laughs> on Modo. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the follow-up of ev Evidence Examiner plus, you know, face-down Bloomkin is pretty good. Yeah. Paper only plays the tank for a while, better play second land job. <laughs> yeah, I mean, something, something, burn scene, he's like something, something. Yeah, two explorers. Mm -mm. Okay, so what do they have here? I mean, it could be nothing. It could be that they're taking their surveil, their free rummage, and trading their 2 3 with our 2 2. Yes. I mean, I don't hate the double block, just straight up. Because I don't know what would, like, destroy us. Like, I think a lot of things are going to would, like, kill our 2 4. Yeah. But I think it's. I can't name the card that well, would if, kill. I mean, if they, like, murder the 2 4, then they eat the 2 4. Oh, uh, I guess that's true. I mean, if they have the thing that gives it death touch, they'll trade for both of them. That's true. Yeah, I mean, well, there is a plus three plus one first strike trick. I mean, that just kills one. Well, yeah, that's, that's the, the first strike trick is okay. That, that's that's one of the ones I was thinking of. Mur murder is bad for us, and death touch is kind of bad for us. Nothing else is really bad. For I us. think we should maybe just take two. Okay, what's our plan next turn? Play evidence examiner. Go. Evidence examiner and land morph. Oh, I meant like leave up slice. Oh. Okay. With the idea that, like, we can then freely block and slice uh, to get him uh, back. Okay, I like that. I like that. Like, no, your line makes no sense. Okay. And then if not, we'll just, like, slice something else. It'll be fine. Okay. I mean, the Tom's analysis is definitely survivable, but yeah, it yeah. is bad for us. Mm -mm. Maybe that's. Maybe we're just supposed to play the, play the two things, and then we can just start blocking and be like, whatever. 
Or we could just, like, slice the morph now, like... I mean, I don't hate Evan and the Examiner slice the morph. That's pretty legit. I'm kind of in for that. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now I have to be very careful. Yeah, so what the fix here is... The, there's a, there's a, there's a tr an easy fix here that, that, that um, Watsi shouldn't want. I mean, they never will, don't worry. But that they, they should have want, which is yeah. that um, auto pay should just not pay in this spot. Oh, okay. That would be that would be the fix. Like, you just click auto pay, and it's like, all right, and it pays nothing. Yeah. Um, it would be... What I like about the fix is it's completely invisible. Like, it doesn't affect anyone, you know, other than, other than just, like, making it work the way you intuitively want it to. But... Cool. So I don't hate saying go here. Yeah, are we gonna out cold some stuff? Yeah. Maybe out cold all the suspects. Yeah. I'm I, I like that. I, I like pass out cold all the suspects. It's even very flavorful. Yeah. We're gonna put all the suspects out cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think those suspects are still going to be out cold. <laughs> Sorry. I, I really like the flavor. <coughs> oh. And no. I'm happy to trade for it, I think. I agree. It's evidence. I guess now we just have so much evidence, but... Yeah, but I like evidence. We'll get used to the evidence. Meh. That's, I guess, kind of a punish, but no less. I mean, they probably just could have collected, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's they, they actually both had the same power. Oh, true. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, seven mana? I mean, more of this sounds pretty good. I know it's, like, missing a little value on this, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's that insane to play Tipster Ox. Because, like, you might, it might be one mana less efficient, but it also gives an extra mana next turn. So in some sense, it's, they're equally That's efficient. true. Okay, I like Tipster Locks. I think I like Tipster Locks. Okay, so Tipster Locks pass. I mean, I think I think we maybe are behind, but it's pretty close. Yeah. I mean, next turn we do have Flushing Bloomkin flip up Flushing Bloomkin. Yeah. I want to make this block, I think. I mean, I think, yeah. I'm happy to just trade off for yeah. that thing. Especially, yeah, next turn they'd get two surveils off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, is it one is it one or more? Wait, do they oh. get two surveils? Yeah, okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I've seen it get two a lot just because of... Ooh, great draw. Okay, well, now we probably shouldn't warp it up main phase, I assume. Oh, wait, can we warp it up and still leave it up? No, we can't because it no. only gets forests. It's fine. One of the lands goes into play anyway, so... How does that help? The lands are... It doesn't get lands, it gets forests. Oh, I see. We can tap the tipster and leave up for us, and then we can play a land for hand. Oh, wait. It just works. So we can leave it up. I think I don't... I don't see a good reason to do it main phase, I mean. Well, it's because... Wait, wait. I mean, there is a good re... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I keep thinking we could leave up rep the repulsion chain. We just can't if we leave it up. Is that right? You sure can't. Well, the reason to do it would be that we have to play the land for our hand. Yeah, we'll just play that land next turn. Okay. If we happen to draw another reasonable. land, then it's fine. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. Okay. It's just hard for me to imagine that we don't do it in the end, but yeah, that's very bad. Scary. I mean, we definitely might lose this. Um, what, what do we? What do we need to locate? We need to locate like. I don't know. I guess, I guess our opponent's done a pretty decent job disassembling our assorted nonsense. Yeah. But we are. We we have a pretty light total. Okay. Okay. We 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 can still win. We can still win this. Wow. Which one is that one? Sorry. It's That's... four mana exile for your graveyard oh, with two bats. Okay. Oh, God. So I think we should just eat, eat, right? Eat, eat. Which two? Eat the dog walker and a 1-1. A one, one. Yeah, okay. I'm in for that, yes. A non-menacing 1-1. One, one. Yes. It seems kind of hard to get away from eat, eat. Yeah. 
I mean, calling Indiana Champions is a little generous, but I agree that if you just don't cast it the first time, it is pretty great. Just all their things are freaking menace. They're too menacing. I want to start by playing Lasav. What is their exile? Well, it's it's when it attacks. Oh wait, so. I'm sorry. Yes, never mind. Or maybe we should just crack the clue then. Yeah, I mean it's very sad we can't exile this. They just respond, but yeah, I want to start by cracking the clue. Yeah, okay, I'm in. I mean, I think we are. It's it's approaching being okay. I agree. The two flyers are going to be rough, honestly. Yes, that's true. So, wait a second, wait a second. So, we can block... Oh, no, oh, I guess the third blocker doesn't even really matter. Like, we... Hitting the first six isn't that insane here. Yeah. Like, one answer to how we're going to win this game is we're going to, like, impulse mutate something, put, like, a bunch of counters on our thing, and just, like... Wait, wait. How much mana do we have? Uh, one, two, three... God, these lands are so bad you kind of can't tell. One, one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if we attack for six, they go to fourteen. We have eleven lands. This just kills them next turn. Okay, let's attack. Right? We're not dead. We can We're one, two, dead. three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. I like this. Okay, I'm in. Everything has menace. Also, there's some Lasav tricks maybe too. Like oh, the, that's true. Which is even more more damage, right? Honestly, great pivot on MTG's part. Famously, Greg hates hates dogs, but he loves dog walks. That's true. Which really gives him a split opinion on the classic card, Dog Walker. Would you say you identify as a dog walker? Yeah. <clears throat> Anything huge? Um, I, I guess, guess he really exiled annoying. the huge thing. Ooh, we could... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, I think we should double block. Agreed. That one? Yeah. They look like enough stuff that they're not going to be dead on, on the backswing, but also, they... It's not like we're dead. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're low, but we're not, like, dead on board. Now we just need Rat Walker. Yeah, when will they bring back Rat Walker? Uh, this, wait, do we want to max counter this? I don't know. So we get three counters. We could put the three counters on the Lazav. The, the, the Boomy does not have trample any evasion, right? No. Yeah. I think we maybe just should. Yeah, I think so too. And I think we should pump the Lazav. Yeah, yeah. definitely agree on that. Nice. Okay. Well, the challenge is I, it's, I'm not sure we're allowed to attack. I mean, maybe we are. Hold on. So, okay. Now, I guess if we leave back two blockers, we can block a dog and a, and a, and a bat, right? If we block a dog and a bat, we're taking four damage to two. Yeah. So that is possible. And we get to draw a card. Yeah, I mean, I think we should probably do it. Okay. What do we want to exile? Uh, it doesn't really Oh, seem... we should exile Dog Walker. So next turn, if we somehow get a clue, it can have Vidge. Sure, okay. Although, I assume we're going to... We might crack the clue that we get this we turn. We probably will, but... Yeah. Like... It does seem right to me to do this, but I also just... I don't really want to wait in the clue, despite all that. Yeah. Despite the Curious Cadaver and... let's take the extra point of damage. Yeah, okay, sure. I like that. Love to take an extra point of damage. It's Dog Walker! It was Dog Walker all along. Great. A guy. Honestly, great timing on Real Belt Maverick. Yeah. Hmm. Is Chalk Outline good? We have Lazav. It seems pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to bin this, though. Sure, I mean, it is a random guy. Okay, maybe it's fine. Uh, maybe we it's have fine. a lot of bangers. Yeah, okay. 
You, you can bend it, I think. We probably won't end up spending a minute on that. Yeah. You should, I think, play every land, yeah. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're, we're net to win it, I think. Also, God, if we really... I think they had nothing when they attacked with that. They were just willing to trade it for the 2-2. Two -two. The shock, I think, I mean, we already yeah, we might, have, we might have punted. We, I'm we, sorry. We did, no, I, I liked the no block, but... Um... I mean, it might have been a shrewd pseudo bluff on their part. Yeah. Oh, wait. Does that kill us? I mean, it sure doesn't. We can no. block the 2-3. I guess they can sack their artifact to draw a card, which is a little annoying. Sure. I mean, we can still just block... We, we can still block it. I mean... Yeah. I mean, we can and we will. Mm -hmm. Like, it's probably right for them to do this, but we're not, like, that afraid. I mean, Lasav Chalk Outline will rapidly invalidate every creature on the ground. Yep. Not to mention the Rubble Maverick. Yeah, I mean, okay, okay. I mean, that, that doesn't do anything. I mean, it's, it's another ground guy, but that just doesn't matter. I mean... I would play Chalk Outline, and then before combat, yep. use the Rubble Maverick, right? Yep, on the Lazav. Yes. And then do we want to crack the clue to get Vigilance? I mean, I guess we're cracking the clue either way. Yeah, I think that seems true. Okay, I'm down. I guess it's only seven, which is what, like pretty awkward. Sorry, why is it why is seven awkward? Oh, because they're eight. eight. Well, we can always wait. We can always attack, copy something with more power, and then make it that. Is there something with more power in the bin? Is there a four power thing? Uh, wait. Do we want to make it? Can we are they, wait. Are they dead? If we make it curious cadaver. Make it curious cadaver. So we attack, exile curious cadaver. Well, no, no. it's still one off. Three Dang. plus four is seven. Yeah. So it would need to be a four power thing. Is there a four power thing in their graveyard? It looks like no. Uh, okay. Nope. Then I guess we just draw a card. Okay. Land? I mean, land would be obviously a great draw. Uh. Yeah, I would definitely copy it. I mean, if they can maybe gain block. No, they can't, they can't even do that yet. It's just fine. Okay, not our best draw, but that's okay. Do we want we should attack with wait both maybe? I think both. Forces a block. Okay, that seems good. Yeah. Wait, we, they know they do get to block with this, and that gives them a clue. Sure, that's fine. Okay. I don't think clue really matters. And then we eat something from our graveyard and re-trigger the thing. Oh wait, I actually don't think we get to. Because it's a dog block. Oh fuck. We screwed up. Mm, wait, maybe this should stay back. Okay. Then, yeah, that should stay back. Sorry. No, it's okay. I, I didn't see it either. I don't think getting clue matters at all, though. I'm, I'm happy to give them the clue, honestly. Yeah. Um, okay, crack our other clue now, in case we draw land to play. Or a uh, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're dead. Hmm. Did we screw up? I mean, we, we maybe screwed up by not giving ourselves a clue, but that doesn't save us. Yeah. Is there a way we could put Cadaver in our hand? I don't I don't think so, because we need the clue from the Maverick to... Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I guess... The well, two... I guess we would... Could we, have, could we have played the thing, attacked with Lasav, exiled from our graveyard to trigger it, but then we still have to crack the clue? Yeah. We were just hmm. a mana off? Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. It, it feels like maybe some... Well, I'm not sure that was wrong, R Yeah. Laura. Once again, you don't be results oriented. Like we certainly made a decision, and that decision certainly didn't work out. But I remain rather unconvinced that it's wrong. It seems like there's just a lot of commons that could easily make sense in their hand that would get us. Um, so I don't think we were too conservative. I think we made a judgment call, and that judgment call be, like lost the game. But it's not really clear to me it was wrong. I want to definitely bin island. I don't hate bin bin. Let's bin bin. I think. I think we can kind of do better. Yeah. We just like have a lot to do with the mana for a while. Having the bin to collect it as evidence at some point is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yeah. Ooh, the wooden investigator. I mean, that's still a good one. Although ice out cold does help. Yep. This. I think that. Yeah, that'll just spend all our mana pretty efficiently, and seems seems pretty good. And I mean, I mean, it's very possible we just slice the wooden investigator like next turn. Yep. So is Tunnel Tipster a mole? Yep. Okay, I just wanted to be clear about its its mole moleness. What do you say is your favorite mole? I mean, I think it's the Tunnel Tipster. Okay, you could say it was Mole God. Yeah, I, I knew that that was an option. There are probably a few others, right? Oh, Graph Mole. Graph Mole's a nice mole. Yeah, that's probably Graph Mole's probably my favorite mole. I'm gonna take that one right yeah. now. Hmm. Uh, I think I want to kill the angel now. Yeah, definitely. I think waiting's pretty unhinged. Well, especially because they get a clue. <laughs> I don't think we have an attack. I don't think so either. This deck would love a graph mole. Yeah, sure, sure would. Oh yeah. Honestly, great, great list card suggestion. Are we tunnel tiptoeing out cold? Yeah, probably. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Mm -mm. I like four mana make a clue gain 10. Yeah. I mean, that's the card we're casting, you know? You, you, gotta, you gotta embrace it. I love out cold. Also, they can't counter it. Yeah. I was like, wow, this card's insane. And then the first game I played, my opponent played a morph. And I was like, oh, that's why this card's not busted. It's because the morph's the, like, the, it's awkward with the ward. And then I was like, oh, wait, it's not. Yeah, it just isn't. <laughs> um, okay, let's play Lazav. Yeah, I mean, I think we just played Sample Collector 2. I don't see why we wouldn't. We, oh, right. Meh, go. Yeah, go, I think. List cards are on arena, but the list is three cards different. Yeah, okay. that is correct. That, that's my understanding as well. Because of Smuggler's Copter. That's one of the cards that's different, right? Yep. So, okay, I need to briefly talk about the Detective Queen in this set. Oh, no, they're exiling. Oh, they're not exiling their own stuff. Okay. This, this is very important. So, in original Innistrad, there was a card called Woodland Sleuth, which was a very bad card. It was a 4 minute 2 3 with the text ETB. If a creature died this turn, you recur a random creature. All right. And when I, whenever I drafted the format, every time I didn't pick Woodland Sleuth, like every time I, I chose not to pick it, which was almost every time in the pack, I announced, we're not starting a detective agency here. And every time I see someone's draft detectives, I want to announce, we're starting a detective agency. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so we could attack with Lazav. Are we attacking with Sample Collector? Oh, probably. I mean... How deep should we go on attacks? I mean, we want to block their ground guys, but, like, we can't stop their air guys. It well, but they like do have a 2-5, which is why we don't want to go that deep. Well, yeah, but, but I mean, like... I mean, we could also just trick through it. In fact, I probably think we should. Okay, so do you want an alpha? Maybe leave back Rollbelt Maverick? As a chump blocker? Yeah. Do you want to leave back the 1-1 one -one tunnel tipster? That's probably better, yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, and I want to leave back both 1-1s. One I mean, okay. they have their blocks on the 1-1s. Oh, yeah, 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 I like, I like back the ones. That, that makes sense. Sorry, and yeah. wait, oh, I guess we could attack with another 1-1 one -one and give it a counter. That is possible. But I kind of want the counter on Lazav. You, why? What, what can it turn into? I mean, it can turn into a big fl a flyer, flying vigilance creature, which I like. Yeah, I think I want the counter on Lazav. I think you're right. Okay. I like this attack. We might want to turn to that on D, is the thing that might happen. Uh, I guess the three will be efficient. Yeah. We might at some point in this game collect Evans four. I mean, yeah. it, it, it is right. Uh, with Lav, we said? Yeah. Yeah. Because I do like that Lazav can now block the flyers. Yes. As an important part of this attack, in my opinion. And you, you want to just max trick through the two five? That was my plan. 
But I don't hate them take five and we leave up the counter spell. We just let the tunnel tipster go. Yeah, I mean, it does sort of feel like if they cast anything we can counter, we'll be happy we did that instead. Yeah. Without the killing the random one three, which doesn't matter very much. I, I like this. Okay. I guess this is they're, this is going to attack for big. What do you, why? Because, it, well, it gets plus three, plus two, plus one in attacks. Oh, wait. Mm, okay, wait. Maybe I just want to kill it. You're right. I didn't think about that. Okay, for four, leave this. Or maybe for just for five. Five. Okay. Because now we have a chump blocker back for that thing. They yeah. have us for a bunch in the air, but we're kind of racing, and we have Lasav on D next turn. This makes a ton of sense to me. Yeah. I know the counting that would have been nice and all, yeah. but I, I, I think I prefer just like starting turning the screws on them, essentially. Yeah. Okay, so with Lasav now, we might want to crack the clue, turn the angel sword as vigilance, or oh, then we attack and won't make it yeah. a good thing. Mm, yes, right. Okay. Wait, can I read Cryptic Coat really quick? So how much mana does it cost to make something unblockable? It, it just, it, it the thing is unblockable. Oh, it just is I think unblockable. maybe okay. we should start by playing Cryptic Coat. Okay, let's play Cryptic Coat. Cryptic Coat is an equipment, but it does not have equip. Yeah, that I'm aware of. I just thought it, I thought, it, I somehow thought the, the unblockable was an activated ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is an untrue. Yeah, you understand Kelvin, man. That, that's how it works. And I guess we should crack a clue, huh? So, wait, wait. Oh, no, right. No, use... sorry, we shouldn't. Yes. So, so, sorry, how much does escape tunnel cost to use? Uh, it's free, but you sack it. Hmm, okay. I don't know if you want to do that. I was just thinking about it. Yeah. Uh, you probably don't right now. Like, I guess at least this wants to attack. I think Evans Collector and the 7-7 seven, seven attack. Yep. And probably the 2-2 two, two as well, and then make it a 3-3, three, three, maybe? Well, what if we make the evidence? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the just, just, just leave it home. Yeah, okay, I'm in. That makes sense. Like this is what we're thinking? I think so, yeah. And then we just grow itself? Yeah. Yeah. I guess they just block with everything, and we just eat one thing. Oh. And then they take seven. I like that. Yeah, okay. I like them taking seven. The light is pretty relevant here, I think. Yeah. Uh, three? Out okay. cold. Yep. I mean, they're very... If they take seven, they're very close to being dead next turn. Just yeah, like yeah, guaranteed. Yeah. Like, they probably just can't do that at all. And they agree. I mean, we we certainly might be dead, though, to, like, a, lo a ham sandwich, honestly. Yeah. So, so that, that part is concerning, but... Oh, right. Oh, nice. Good work, Cryptic Coat. Uh, <laughs> common Cryptic Coat W. So, okay, how much power do they have in the air? Because they can, like, they can use their 1-1 one, one to pump one of their flyers. Of course, they attack to another one. Yeah. And so they 4, a 3, and a 3. We block the 4. We take... Yeah, I mean, it does sort of seem like... Well, okay, this is not what I expected them to do. It does sort of seem like we could easily be dead next turn. But I mean, maybe, maybe they're, they're, like, digging to a makeshift binding or something? Yeah, definitely possible. The mechanical division between artifacts and champions is farther away by Cryptic Coat. I think Cryptic Coat doesn't really feel like an enchantment. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Just like equipments, like, I don't know, like an enchantment that bounces itself and each time you play it manifests how card feels really weird. Yeah. Like, I, I, I think it, this card feel, clearly does not feel like an enchantment to me. I, I, I don't know. I guess this was a reason to pump Lazav. They're just passing. I mean, that makes sense. I want to go get an island for bouncing Cryptic Coat. I think I do, I do too, yeah. Okay. If they left themselves dead in some way, we'd definitely take advantage, but they didn't. And I don't think we should crack the clue, right? I don't think so. We just, like, nor we just, like, sit on this off. Yeah. Or we do cryptic coat bullshit. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, great, great draw. Cool. It has flying. <laughs> uh, attack with the unblockable. Play this to go. That seems good. Yeah. I like that... Under the cryptic code, it's a land. I feel like it's often a land. <laughs> yeah, but okay, wait, pass them. But I think it's funny when it's wait. So read the what, which sound basic is the one again? It's, it's um. Oh, it's it's. It's an underground mortuary. Oh yeah, yeah, I see, I see, I see. You've you never like seen... underground thing is yeah. that's what's cute about yeah, it. You like that? You've never seen an entire underground mortuary <laughs> in a coat? Uh huh. There's like a lot of bodies in there. 
in that coat. Yeah. Mm. Cloud form and rage form were also cards. That is, that is, that, that is fair. Re reasonable response. Reasonable response. I, 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 do, I do buy that argument somewhat. Okay, certainly turning one of their non-artifacts into a bird would be very scary. I mean, they, they are very close to that. They're up there. Okay, they have no attack. Love that. Do we want to bounce critic code? It's not obvious that we do. Because I sort of want to lower the life total by three. Okay, I don't. Do you want to attack with this? That seems reasonable. Yeah, okay. I'm down. We also could collect evidence onto the critic coded thing if we wanted to and hit them for four, but... Oh, wait, we don't have enough? Oh, I guess we do. This is lit up with a four. So but I don't know what to. that would accomplish, yeah, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it would accomplish anything. I, it's just an option. Okay, I think I just want to attack with this, this, and then bounce replay cooked. Yeah, okay, I like that. Okay. This is a fascinating game we're playing. And if they block, I might just, like, chill on the um, thing because of chalk outline. Okay, That's kind of sure. what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, next turn we'll probably want to do this is my expectation, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Cryptic coat. Cryptic coat. The first time we actually need this. Cryptic coat. And then I want to play the land, I think. Yeah, what's under the cryptic coat? Uh, another land. Okay. C classic land of the cryptic coat. Oh, yeah. They're also playing blue. So they're blue's clues? That's correct. Any further questions? No. I think I, 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 think I nicely clarified my position. Cryptic code. Cryptic code. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, Ramora, I'm coming around. That, that, that's a good argument, I think. 6-5. Sure, I mean, that's fine. I kind of think we should block with the Kadaver. And, and, then then and then get it back. Okay, I mean, that's reasonable. Then Lasa the cost is then Lasa won't be able to block later because we don't have the clue anymore. I know. But I guess that's going to be fine. I mean, I don't hate crack the clue double block. But I guess we don't have a way to get it back anyway. Mm. And then they get a clue. And, like, this isn't yeah, even that okay, much okay, okay. bigger. Yeah, yeah, like, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Never seen that card before. <laughs> it's kind of a weird card. It's it's either gust, but yeah, for four mana. Um, I think we would. There are other cards we'd rather draw. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a great draw. I think we can bottom it. Yeah, it's very weird, but it seems right. We just like don't need more random things to do with our mana. What we need is like a way to interact with the flyer. I mean, that is a way to interact with the flyer technically. I mean, I guess it's not because we can't cast it. But okay, I mean, and there's no like alpha out here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's consider. Um, Okay, so, so they're taking three for sure. We can make it five. Because we can we can put a counter on it and then put a counter on it. That's true. We, do you want to play this and see if we hit another one? Serious oh, question. Because they are good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That makes a ton of sense. It's not that likely. I feel like we should keep the chalk outline. I think so, but it's not hundred percent obvious. Okay. Yeah, I think I think so. Um, okay, but so... But now they're not, they're definitely not dead to the alpha, but it's possible the alpha's right anyway. Well, okay, we can, like, 3-3, three, three, everyone's gonna be a 3-4. Oh, I guess this is untapped. Um, but it kind of seems like we should, we should alpha. Because what if we just, like, make everyone 3 power? They actually have to block all four of these to survive. Okay, that seems great. And then they just, like, like, we, yeah, 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 it's great. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm with you, yes. Attack, do this. Exile the two twos. The two twos. And put the counter here. Yes. On underground mortuary. Yes. Classic put the counter on underground mortuary. I mean, and then we have a blocker for the yeah, I mean they're just pretty much dead, is, is what really what this all amounts to. 
Had we not blocked with a flyer, we maybe had lethal. Uh, maybe. They're pretty dead now, though. Yeah. TBH. Uh, <laughs> like. Nice. I mean, okay, I mean, that's a great card. This is going to save them here. It's very bad on turn a million. <laughs> yes. It's very good on turn two. Whew. Whew. Yeah. Oh. Cryptic Coat carried us home. That's true. I, we have one more, right? One more, I think. Nice. Which is great because I really want to get the max amount of magic with this deck because this deck is a This deck is joy. very fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've decided the one the giant spider for two mana is good in our deck. Okay, I agree. After like two games of like we basically lost both of well, we lost a game to Yeah, we lost all of our games to flyers. I mean all our deck just of, isn't that good against flyers. Yeah, yeah. I mean not that Sultai in general is a flyer problem, and part of the issue is we don't have the bite spell, which is the yeah, best answer. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Sneak it off. We get to do so much surveilling. I mean, yeah. Surveillance in all formats, Craig. Interesting. I mean, that's a pretty decent draw. I think we should keep it. I think so, too. Okay. Mostly, we just don't really have a turn three player rule. Yeah. Up. And I mean, we do want an island, but like, we're not like in a rush. Oh, wow. Rollo Maverick owns that card. <laughs> I mean, we want Escape Tunnel. I don't know if we want Trick... I think we just don't want Tooltips there. Yeah. I guess it makes our curve a little awkward. I agree, but I we should still take it. Yeah, it seems kind of... It's, it's obscenely greedy not to take it. Yeah. Like, and I think my intent is just to play the Sample Collector on the idea that, like, look, if we draw an island, then great. If we draw a non-island, great. And if we draw a spell, we'll cast that spell. So, like, it's sort of always better to play Sample Collector. It's kind of I mean, if we draw... If we draw an expensive or blue spell, we'll be sure. Punished. I mean, we could just keep waiting. I guess that's true, actually. Yeah. Maybe we should play getting that for a while. Actually, that seems very reasonable. Yeah. Look, look at this Look at this brutally fast forward aggro deck, Craig. Just facing down our green, you know, muckety mucks. Yeah. I, I want to play this. Oh, yeah. Get Horton into play, Greg. It's time to hear a who. Hear a what? A who. Who? Where? <laughs> it's your, your turn to hit me with why. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I really think you had a, a grab to me for a very, like, over-the-top why. Why? <laughs> okay, you're right. So maybe surveil to first. Yeah, I'm down for spell two first. Because if we see an island, we could just draw the island. <laughs> That's nice. All wow. Right. Okay, well. Let's goodness. draw a card. Yeah. Uh, very funny. Yeah. I want, I just have I want to the island. The island. Yeah. So do we want to attack with our 4-4 four, four bitch? What's wrong with tagging with it? What are you worried about? I mean, they trade this, which does nothing, and they're 2-2 two, two for it. Oh, I guess they can block 1-2-1-2-2-2, one, two, one, two, 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 maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, that's actually better than... We have... Mm-hmm. I guess... Oh, maybe... Mm. I mean, I don't hate just not attacking. I think I want to chill. I'm fine chilling. Okay. Yeah. It just seems like we offer them a bunch of unfavorable trades, and, like, we're only taking one damage in the sky next turn. They throw another good attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, every future turn, Slice Shadows would be up. Yeah. And I don't think it was a mistake even to play Escape Tunnel because I just really want to find the blue. Yeah. I don't think that, like, getting in the attack for four with Slice for one up is that important or anything. Yep. I agree. God, the, the Doorkeeper Thrill is really funny. That is certainly annoying. It's Scooby Doo and the gang! <laughs> I want to block the these two things here. Wait, how about three, three, one, 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 one? Much better. Okay, I'm in. Wait, aren't we just throwing away a one, one for nothing? Oh, you're right. My line was genius, except for the part that it made no sense at all. That was a key issue with it. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> um, a lot of interesting options here. It, it's sort of the, the the real challenge is okay. We want to double spell. Yes. And in order to do that, I think we need to play Evidence Examiner and Slice of the Shadows. But I really don't want to cast Slice of the Shadows unless they give us a good reason. But that's fine. The what card I want to cast is Curious. We, we could we could out cold draw a card. Well, I was thinking we'd play Evidence Examiner, attack with Sample Collector, put a counter on it, make a clue. Oh. Then, then draw a card. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's oh, my wait. line. Okay, okay, okay. Your line's better. So play this. So we go to combat. Yeah. I guess maybe I don't want to play the land. Uh, I don't think you want to play it. Why would you? Yeah. Okay, so we don't want to do this. Decline that. Decline yeah. this. Attack with this. We have to do this. Yep. That's put a counter on itself. And then just land go. I think so, yeah. And this is pretty man efficient because we can just crack the clue if we don't want to slice. Also, they're going to attack with some stuff. I mean, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So what sort of... <coughs> I mean, I don't hate the level one blocks of 2-2 two, two, eats your 1-2, one, 1-1 one, one, trades for your 2-1. Take five. Yeah. And see what they do. Okay, I like this. Yeah. It seems kind of great. Like, I think what's going to happen is they're going to trick and we're going to retrick. Well, I think they're going to have... Oh, that one's really scary. Okay, that admittedly is a beat. Yeah. Um, sorry, I don't know the uncommons well enough to realistically play them yeah. at this point. Uh, I mean, I think we should just respond by killing Novice Inspector. I think so, too. Oh, wait. I can just give it one, and then we can still crack the clue. Yes, because then it will be a two... Yeah, we'll... Wait. It'll be a one-two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that makes sense, yes. Which I do think we want to do despite the Curious Cadaver in our hand. <clears throat> Honestly, that card's scary on the <laughs> I'm kind of glad that that's gone. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <coughs> hmm. Well, we awkwardly have seven mana. We could grow the Rubble Belt Maverick, and then out cold the two big things. Wait, wait. I want to just grow the Rubble Maverick, cast our Cadaver, and then investigate and pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Also, I found this, the plus one plus one on all the creatures thing to be really, really good because it's so hard to play around. Yeah, that is like, very true. Like, you naturally play around the other tricks. Yeah. Um, and so, like, it's hard to play such that you're playing around a random trick and that card. Exactly. And, yes. like, since that one's uncommon, you, like, kind of always play around the... The other one. Yep. Okay. Well, that's bad for us, but there's nothing uh, to do about it. Yep. So the thing about this convert hand about it, handed is, which is a very weird card, is I don't understand at all why it's an instant. Like, I get that the joke that it's well, fine is instant because okay. it's but why is it an instant? Like, it never matters. Anyway, sorry, this is a complete aside. Okay, it looks like we have to chump block. Hmm. This is very bad. I agree. Right, because otherwise, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll hope it works out. I mean, I don't I don't really know what our exact plan is, but... Because we're going to get back a guy that can't block. Yep, I agree. But we can draw a card. Yep. I mean, a good thing to do would maybe be to, like, I don't know, let's see, does, like, drawing chalk outline help, maybe? Help some. Okay, so we're not dead because we can tap their their two their two three power things. That's true. So I think we just land, attack with Cadaver Go. Do we want to grow it? Probably not, right? I don't And we can leave out the counter so? spell? I don't, I don't really see why growing it's good. I agree. Um, so I don't think so. Well, wait. Yeah. How many turns so, could they be dead in? Uh, well, it would be... So, wait, wait, wait. So, we, we paid four mana. Six. So, we'd have... We, it'd only grow by two. Yeah, it's not that much. But that, well, no, sorry. I'm wondering we grow it with this. And then we, like, oh. hit him for four. 
and then next turn, but th this isn't even good enough. I mean, growing it with a roll dot doesn't make any sense if we're going to repulse mutation anyway. The one damage doesn't matter. I guess that's true. So, yeah. But, yeah, see, see what, what's nice about the threat, though, Greg, is it makes clear that suspecting creatures is downside. Yeah. It, it's very unambiguous on that point. I mean, we kind of need their hand to be bad. Yeah. It, I mean, that's asking a little. It's, it's not asking all that much. If their hand is bad, and then we draw a banger, then we might be all set. Okay, we have to counter that. Great. We, we want it to. We, we, we don't have to, Greg. We want to. I was trying to figure out how many X should be, but it's fine. It, it could be lower. Oh. Well, that's nice. Okay, so how are we winning? Yeah, well, right now we're winning by attacking, maybe. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, just hitting them for five mana versus, I mean, six doesn't matter versus five. If six versus five doesn't matter, and we could draw a chalk out outline? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure we should crack the clue at all anymore, is the complication. Because if we, if we don't crack the clue, then we can trade our curse cadaver off and then regrow it. Great, this Curious Cadaver. The second yeah. Curious Cadaver. I think we should just maybe attack, play Curious Cadaver, and say go. How insane is that? I don't think it's that insane. It, it kind of seems right to me. Oh, though, wait. Five? Wait, does it, is it growing at meaning matter a lot? Oh, when you're growing, it's great. Growing, it's so good. Okay, growing, grow, 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 grow. The chocolate thing is kind of minor. If we draw chocolate, we'll, we'll be fine. Six down to eight, because... Because now it's lethal. Well, it was lethal anyways. Five plus three is eight. Oh no, I see, I see. So, but but it, they would have been a nine. And then play the land, maybe. Uh, okay. I don't really know if it's right. It, it, like our deck is capable of doing things. That yeah, should... yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. And I mean, just like the bluff equity is pretty rare. Like our opponent can never play out anything. Okay, they are choosing to sack the creature to bounce our thing, which I don't know might be right. It's not that crazy. Ooh, that's a beating because we're at one. Yep. And because it blocks our potentially lethal attacker. Oh, yeah. no, it doesn't. Menace. Ha! Oh, nice. Okay, so we need to draw another repulse mutation. I think we binned it earlier in the game. Hmm. Okay, we are dead. I mean, we just need five blockers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we have three. So, yeah, very close one in many regards. Yeah. I mean, if we had used the Maverick a turn earlier, we still wouldn't have enough, have enough damage. I, I think we played well. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, the 1-1 one, one everything trick did get us, but I don't think we were necessarily even supposed to play around it had we even thought of it, which we yeah. didn't. So, like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think we... I think we. I mean, mostly I think what happened is our deck was completely broken when we drew Chalk Outline. Yeah. And we didn't... Our deck was solid. Sure. But, like, Okay, what all the games we lost had in common, we did not have fast Chalk Outline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when Chalk Outline was played on turn four, they lost horribly every time. <laughs> like, it's just um, that, yeah. The trick was the, there's a trick, there's an uncommon, it's one of the split cards that gives all your attacking creatures plus one, plus one. Um, I guess they also could have had On the Job, which Liberal? is the actual, oh, the, uh, the, the plus um, two plus one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Wait, look uh, at our deck a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I understand me with 6-3. I still basically think this deck is broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, I get that's the result. I under, I see the, the W's and L's on the sheet. But sure, sure, sure. I think this deck is the best deck I've drafted in this format so far, and I don't expect to draft better anytime soon. Yeah, agreed. It's really, really, really fucked up. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah, I mean, it can definitely lose fast aggro. Fast aggro is the best deck in this format, and, like, if they draw a little better or we happen to not get our energy going fast enough... Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's shockingly lost. Our deck is a little interaction light. Yeah. Like, these two repulse mutations definitely were good, but they are definitely, I think, in this deck worse than the bite spell. Definitely. Which is often two mana, kill a thing, and race, and kind of do everything you ever wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bite down on crime. Well, yeah, but it, and trigger shock outline. Yeah, yeah. Bite down on crime is really important to this deck, and we did not get it, but yep. that's okay. Yep. I mean, I, I think our repulse mutation was I not. wonder if this card was supposed to be in because of its reach. Oh, I didn't think that much about that. That's a reasonable argument. Yeah. Um... Was repulse mutation awkward? No, no. I think it was. I think it was very good. It seemed really good, actually. Yeah. I mean, I think that how to describe this? This is not the optimal home for repulse mutation. Repulse mutation is really fucked up. So mostly, it's too good. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it just kind of always does something good. Like sometimes it's just like an early counter spell. Unless they pay two, you have a random creature. Like it can fireball them. It can be a huge trick. It can be a really big counter spell. Like it. 
It just kind of does it all. Right. Um, like, the, the ideal situation, I think, for the card is when you cast it kind of in the mid-game, countering a relevant spell and putting one of counters on a thing. Yeah. But, like, the fact that it's just always good is, is kind of nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. We did have, like, we could have just, like, this probably was better than this in our deck, actually. Oh. Based on how things mm, went out. Maybe that's reasonable. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I generally like Lost on War, but yeah, actually, I mean, flyers were a major issue. Like, yeah, maybe we should have swapped that earlier. Yeah. I mean, we have some flyers. We have the, the Reach Guy, the two Curious Cadavers. And, like, maybe this should have been in our deck, given I'm how I'm pretty skeptical, yeah. but I, I do get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just, like, a lot worse than all of our other cards. Yeah. But yeah, we had a draft camp, yes. Yeah. Basically, what happened is, to help the four Minnesotans who were queued for Beach Chicago prepare, there was a draft camp held with those four plus a bunch of other random strong limited players from the state which included me greg and msj yeah uh so we have drafted the set uh three times with a pretty skilled pod i'm not saying we're the world's leading experts but like yeah we we we, we know what's going on yeah, yeah, yeah um and actually right now given a new the format is we might be among the world's leading experts mm, but nice. <laughs> we will rapidly cease to be among the world's leading experts that is true <laughs> uh anyways but, yeah i mean there's already been like half a day of drafting probably there's some people who just like drafted the whole day you know they might be better than us now yeah probably not but maybe yeah um <laughs> anyways uh so yeah yeah what um he, anyway that, that that's that's gonna be it for our stream yeah we'll be back tomorrow streaming st hashtag stock rhinos stock rhinos which i am playing at the rc and greg will 100 percent no doubt whatsoever we also be playing in the rc after he wins an lcq yeah there's no doubt that's the plan um, so if you're watching on YouTube, this is going to end our stream. If you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. We're going to do a quick words on stream before we close out. We have a nice bold outfit next stream coming for our rhinos, our final rhino stream before the RC, which we're super excited about. If you're going to be at the RC, come and say hello to us. That's the only reason I'm going is to meet stream viewers. <laughs> I'm not even queued, and I'm already queued for the next one. There's no point in me going, except that I want to hang out with all of you. I'm not even memeing. This is actually true. I know, but don't forget that we're going to do words on stream. I know, I know. That's why I said if you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. Okay. But if you're watching on YouTube, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments below your favorite evidence to collect, period. Anyway, System Magic out.